Hey guys welcome back. This is a story about what if Naruto had gamer leveling system. Naruto has always had video games to fall back on growing up while the rest of the village pretty much treated him like garbage. What happens when Naruto wakes up to find his life has become one of the video games he loves so much? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave a like you can suggest a Naruto fanfiction with a link in the comments if you want me to read it. And check the description for the creator of this great fanfic and support them for making this fanfic. So let's start. Chapter 1. You have slept in your bed. HP and CP are fully stored. Naruto absent-mindedly waved away the blue color box that his sleep-addled mind created to wake him up. Clearly he'd been up far too late making his latest RPG his. Slowly he rolled to a sitting position on the edge of his bed, allowing his feet to settle on the cold wood flooring. Clearly his landlord had shut off his heat again, nothing new there. Naruto stretched his arms over his head yawning exaggeratedly as he did every morning. He looked over at his small selection of potted plants. Good morning, he said groggily. His eyes still bleary and ignoring the yellow boxes hovering in the air above the three little plants. He stood and walked first to his dresser, pulling out clean underwear then grabbing his track suit from the floor where he'd discarded it the night before. It wasn't technically dirty by his standards as it only really needed to be washed once a week, or if he got it bloody, covered in vomit from some drunk trying to attack him, or splattered with rotten food if he lingered too long in the market district. Unfortunately he couldn't really afford to wash it more often than that since his water bill was too high as it was already. Clothes in hand he walked through the small apartment, past the combined living room and kitchen, to the small bathroom, only shower and toilet in it. He wedged the bathroom door shut, jamming the kanai he kept on the bathroom counter into the door frame to hold it shut, it was necessary given the broken doorknob that his landlord refused to repair. He briefly glanced in the mirror, seeing the blue lettering above his head but not really registering it as he scrutinized his nose and whisker marks. He turned from the mirror and FPED up the toilet seat, careful not to break it any further as the landlord once again wouldn't fix it. He couldn't help the sigh of relief as he relieved himself of the excess liquid that filled his bladder as he slept. He'd put the lid down but wouldn't flush a number one, only number two gets flushed and usually he'd go out for that. Business done, he stripped down quickly and stepped into the shower and braced himself as he turned on the water. Without any time to waste, he was met a moment later by ice cold water jolting him wide awake. He quickly grabbed the bar of soap and began to hastily scrub his body from top to bottom, making sure he got all the sensitive bits along the way. Then just as quickly he rinsed and turned off the shower. All told, it took about two minutes of his time. Out the shower he grabbed his toothbrush and squirted a little toothpaste on it before attacking his mouth with vigor. It was not pleasant as once again he just couldn't justify using the water. He walked out of the bathroom toward his window and fire escape to grab the water pail he'd put out the night before to collect the rain. It was about half full which was a good haul for a single night. In the kitchen he poured the water into two pitchers but not before pouring himself a GL. He then put the two pitchers into his refrigerator, which wouldn't keep them cold per se but did stop them from getting warm. The fridge was yet another thing the Ed landlord refused to fix or replace and Naruto couldn't afford to do it himself. Naruto scrubbed his mouth one more time over and took out the toothbrush. He held it over the sink and poured a little water from his GL over it, just enough for him to shake out any toothpaste. He then took a mouthful and swished it around before swallowing. He couldn't afford to waste the water either, for as lush as high no kuni was, it got surprisingly little rain. Naruto walked back to the bathroom, drinking his water as he walked. He set his toothbrush back on the counter and dressed himself. He looked in the mirror again and fussed with his hair, trying to get the spiky design he preferred just right when he finally noticed the blue glowing words hovering over his head. Uzumaki Naruto Academy Student LVL. 3 The Gamer, what the, he questioned aloud. He moved his hands up and waved them through the words not disturbing them in the slightest. What the, he questioned again, blinking several times. Okay, Naruto, you my friend, have been spending way too much of your downtime playing video games. Naruto then slapped himself hard, nearly knocking himself to the floor. Shut the up. Don't ever say like that again, he said harshly, glaring at himself in the mirror. The truth was video games were his only salvation in his otherwise totally tie and messed up life. 
when he was five the Hokage had given him his first video game console. It was the latest and greatest and all the kids at school could do nothing but talk about them. Those that had one bragged about it, those that didn't were envious of those that did. When he said he'd had one he thought it might lead to friends and some of the kids were interested. That didn't last as their parents said, no. An emphatic, no, in fact that was accompanied with threats of bodily harm. Regardless, games became Naruto's friends, taught him morality, right from wrong, good from evil. So other than Ninja Academy and training, video games were Naruto's life. You're right, what was I thinking? I'm sure this is just some kind of delusion. I must have eaten a bad batch of instant ramen. That's why I'm seeing things, Naruto explained to himself. He was greeted again by a severe slap to the face. Blasphemy, he cried aloud to himself. Naruto glared once more at himself in the mirror. Then he glanced up at the blue words again and shrugged. They would probably go away soon. He left the bathroom once more to put on his shoes, put on his hip pouch and strap his weapons pouch to his leg. He looked around his apartment one more time to make sure he didn't forget anything before he opened his door and set out for the first day of his last year in the academy, his last chance. The Konoha Shinobi Academy, commonly referred to as the KSA, was Naruto's school. He was one of the select few admitted. It was a school for aspiring ninja in training. He was also quite possibly the worst student there. He'd attempted to graduate early twice before having failed both times. This would be his third year in the academy and his last possible chance to graduate, if you didn't make Genin by 13 you were simply cut from the program without exception. Naruto would be turning 13 in 10 months on October 10th. The graduation exam was on November 30th. So he had 11 months to get it done or he was done. Naruto's landlord was waiting for him at the exit to the building. Rents due, he said gruffly, a golden question mark was hovering over his head. Naruto quirked an eyebrow curious about where this would go. What the, why not? A blue window popped up in front of him. A quest has been created. There was a, in the top left corner and an arrow in the bottom right corner. Naruto pressed the arrow. Quest alert rent is due, pay rent. Rent must be paid by 6 p.m. or you will be evicted. Pay the landlord 1000 Rio by 6 p.m. or clear out the chakra rat nest in the basement by 6 p.m. must bring their tails as proof of defeat. Completion award. 500 EXP. Increase reputation with landlord, reputation increase will double for clearing out the chakra rat nest. Completion failure. Eviction decrease reputation with Konoha yes no Naruto blinked several times. Make up your mind already, I don't have all day, said the landlord. Naruto quickly touched the, yes button. Remember, 6 p.m. or you're out of here, said the man once more time before walking past Naruto shouldering him rudely as he ped. What the, asked Naruto again. He glanced above the head of his landlord. Michia Oda Landlord LVL. 7 Naruto put his hands together forming a hand seal quickly and flared his chakra shouting, Kai. There was no effect at all. So if I did that wrong I might still be in a genjutsu but if I didn't then I'm not in a genjutsu and this is all real, he said to himself, given the hallway exiting his building was now empty. Naruto's walk to the academy was a bit slower than usual as he looked around now seeing level markers above everyone in the village. He'd noticed quickly that most children were only level 1 and civilians topped out around 15 and those at the highest seemed to be tradesmen. The ninja that he saw varied from level 10 to around 30 and then there were a lot of level shinobi. It appeared the ones around level 10 to 20 were genin, 20 to 30 must have been chunin. The, must have been chunin and junin. If this held true to games that meant their level was so high he couldn't even comprehend it. A special s defeat has been created through a special act. Naruto blinked in surprise yet again. He tapped the blue box and another popped up. Through continuous observation, a S defeat to find target's information, observe, LVL, one has been created. What the, what the is, observe, asked Naruto. Suddenly there was a new pop-up in orange this time. Akamichi Dogo Master Baker LVL, 15 HP, 500 CP, 150 Master Baker of the Akamichi clan. Cool, said Naruto, half in surprise and half because it really was cool as. Naruto spent the next 20 minutes trying to obverse as many people as he can when another blue wind popped up. Observe, S level has risen by 1. Again, cool, he said to himself. 
Looking the master baker again he activated the ability again. Observe. Akamichi Dogo Master Baker LVL. 15 HP. 500 500 CP. 150 Master Baker of the Akamichi Clan. Well known for his baking prowess, Dogo serves the best breads in all of Hai no Kuni, he's even baked for royalty on occasion. Sweet, said Naruto. So I can level up the S defeats so they work better. Another blue window popped up interrupting his excitement. Quest alert don't be late. Arrive to academy on time. You have 10 minutes to arrive to CL before you're late. Completion award. 100 EXP increase reputation with Konoha 12 completion failure. Decrease reputation with Konoha yes no. What? Shouted Naruto, quickly tapping the yes and beginning to sprint for the academy. He barely glanced at the large timer that began to count down in his peripheral vision. Naruto barely slid into the CL room with 20 seconds left. You barely arrived before the start of CL. Completion awarded. 100 EXP and plus 5 to reputation with Konoha 12. Naruto would have paid more attention if he wasn't huffing and puffing from having sprinted halfway across Konoha to make it to CL on time. Granted he recovered very quickly but that was difficult. Naruto finally looked at the messages and accepted but couldn't help wondering who the the, Konoha 12, were and why he gained reputation with them or why it was even important. Naruto sat down finally with a huff looking around and seeing that all of his CLMates had the same blue lettering above their heads with their names and levels. It didn't make him happy either. As he looked around he noticed that most of the students were between levels 3 to 6 with the exception of 8 of his CLMates. Haruno Sakura LVL7 Yamanaka Ino LVL7 Hayuga Hanada LVL8 Nara Shikamaru LVL8 Akamichi Choji LVL8 Inazuka Kiba LVL9 Abarame Shino LVL9 Uchiha Sasuke LVL12 Naruto wanted to cry out and scream in frustration. They were all so much better than him, even the object of his affection. How could it have been possible that they were all so much stronger than he was? Naruto began to observe each of them in turn only serving to frustrate him further. Haruno Sakura Academy student LVL 7 HP, 100, 100, CP, 50 Haruno Sakura is the smartest student in CL. Though very intelligent she is not very physically gifted. She pines after Uchiha Sasuke and is bitter rivals with Yamanaka Ino for, Sasuke-kun's affections. Naruto growled after that one. Yamanaka Ino Academy student LVL 7 HP, 100, 100, CP, 100 Yamanaka Ino is a member of the famed Yamanaka clan known for their mind techniques. She is quite vain placing too much value on looks instead of her S defeats. She pines after Uchiha Sasuke and is bitter rivals with Haruno Sakura for, Sasuke-kun's affections. Naruto actually almost snickered when he saw the last line mirrored Sakura's. Hayuga Hanada Academy student LVL 8 HP, 150-150 CP. 100 Hayuga Hanada is a member of the elitist Hayuga clan known for their dujutsu and unique taijutsu style. She is a very sweet girl but very shy so not well known by her CLMates. She finds the strength to improve from watching the person she most admires. Naruto couldn't help but smile at that. Hanada sounded awesome, he made a mental note to try to get to know her a bit this year. Observe, S level has risen by 1. Already, mumbled Naruto. Let's see what this does. Nara Shikamaru Academy student LVL 8 HP, 100 100 CP, 150 150 its STR, 7 BIT, 10 DEX, 11 INT, 15 WIS, 35 LUCK, 3 Nara Shikamaru is a member of the famed Nara clan known for their intellect and laziness. The unique ability to manipulate shadows makes them rather versatile shinobi. Shikamaru is by far the smartest Nara born in many generations and in turn is also the laziest. Shikamaru is smart, Naruto said in appreciation, earning a glance from the sleeping Nara from a few seats over. Naruto smiled nervously at the look but was able to laugh it off. Shikamaru admittedly was curious but decided to shrug it off mumbling, troublesome, as he turned his head back and closed his eyes once more. Naruto would have continued scanning the rest of the CL but his teachers chose that moment to enter. Thankfully he had Yumino Uruka again as a teacher. His eye stand was new though. Yumino Uruka Academy Instructor LVL 25. Tuji Mizuki Academy Bakistan Instructor LVL 22 Naruto was starting to like the names above their heads. 
This time though he noticed there was a leaf symbol next to their names. Yumino Uruka Academy Instructor LBL 25. Affiliation. Konoha HP. 1000-1000 CP. 750-750 STR. Bit. Dex. Int. Wis. Luck. Yumino Uruka is a dedicated academy instructor finding his life fulfilled teaching the next generation of shinobi. Now Naruto found that odd. The data wasn't near as complete. It was similar to his level 2 of observe. It must have been because Uruka's level was so much higher than his own. Naruto tried on Mizuki and the results were the same. It told him there was a limit to his ability while his own level was so low. That raised several other questions. How could he level up? Was it only quests? For that matter what were his own stats? Then it occurred to him that if this was a game he should be able to get a command prompt of some kind right. Profile. He tried first. Pause. Menu. Status. The last one popped up an orange menu name. Uzumaki Naruto CL. The gamer title. Academy student plus 25% experience gain up to level 10. Level. LB3. Affiliation. Konoha HP. 600 600 CP. 600 600 STR. 10 BIT. 2010 DEX. 5 INT. 2010 WIS. 3 LUCK. Status. Plus 1 O BIT. Plus 1 O INT. Plus. Percent experience 2. S defeat plus 100 HP and plus 100 CP per level prankster minus 5% reputation gains plus 5% experience to trap S defeat plus 5% experience to stealth S defeat. Uzumaki Naruto is the dead last of the Konoha Academy having failed the graduation twice before while clearly not prepared to graduate. His past is shrouded in mysteries for him to uncover. Point. Oh. Ryo. 3,500 inches what the, he grumbled. You need something, Naruto, asked Uruka, how man was suddenly looking over his shoulder he had no idea. No, Uruka sensei, said Naruto hoping the man would move on quickly. Then you can tell me what I just said, asked Uruka. You introduced us to Mizuki sensei, asked Naruto, hoping he was really lucky. I guess you were paying attention, said Uruka moving on. Your luck holds out and you save yourself from detention on the first day of CL causing your luck to go up by one. Naruto had to restrain himself from jumping up and down and cheering. He checked his status again and his luck stat was still. So either it was really high or negative if it could go negative for that matter. What the does luck do for him anyway? Naruto tapped the symbol in the top left corner of his status window. Instantly several small boxes appeared in black with yellow writing and yellow lines were drawn pointing to each area of the status window. Luck. Luck is the chance of an event falling in your favor in non-combat actions. This impacts mostly gambling and loot drops. Naruto nodded before looking at the other stats. STR. Strength affects how much damage your physical and weapon attacks deal and how much damage your ability to parry reduces. Speed is increased 0.25 when both STR and DEX increase by 1 if equal. Bit. Vitality impacts your total HP and endurance. The more vitality you have the more damage you can take and the longer you can fight. This also impacts how quickly you recover HP while not in combat. DEX. Dexterity affects how effectively you can dodge attacks and how accurate your own attacks are. Speed is increased 0.25 when both STR and DEX increase by 1 if equal. Int. Intelligence impacts your total CP, how quickly your CP recovers and how much damage your Jutsu cause. The also impacts your ability to learn and memorize information. Wis. Wisdom affects how smart you are and how well you can use what you know. This has a MIB impact on your chakra control. Status. Throughout the game you can acquire and unveil any number of status effects both temporary, i.e. stun, sleep, etc., and permanent, i.e. sharingan, hyouten, etc. Some permanent effects can only be gained through genetics while others require specific actions. Title. Earn your title and gain varied and sometimes beneficial titles throughout the game. Naruto couldn't help but sigh. It was a lot of information for him to process. Naruto closed the menu and tried to pay attention to the lecture but quickly zoned out as he daydreamed about all the kick things he could do with his new gamer ability. Okay, students, please read this booklet and then we'll head out to the practice range to work on Kanai and Shuriken Bukijutsu, said Aruka. Mizuki then began ping out the booklets to each of the students. 
Why do we have to read this again, complained Kiba. Every year we get this ed booklet. Because every year we like to refresh our students so they don't get sloppy or lazy in their technique, said Aruka, his glare quickly silencing the Inazuka boy. Naruto sighed as he looked at the booklet in front of him. He grabbed the book and made to open it when a new pop-up appeared. You've obtained the Estefeat book Kanai and Shuriken Bukijutsu. Would you like to learn the Estefeat? Naruto nearly tore his hair out at this. He knew how to throw Ed Shuriken and Kanai. What the was wrong with this game? Naruto tapped the, confirm, why, just to see what would happen. The book going up in fire and smoke was not ideal and earned him glares from both Mizuki and Aruka. You've obtained the Estefi, Kanai Bukijutsu, and, Shuriken Bukijutsu. Two large orange windows popped up a moment later. Kanai Bukijutsu, PIV, active, LB1 EXP, 0.00% CP, 5 weapons technique specific to Kanai usage in both melee and ranged combat. Pivly increases Kanai accuracy 10%, Pivly increases Kanai parry 10%, additional 10% increase for 15 seconds in STR when active. Shuriken Bukijutsu, PIV, active, LV1 EXP, 0.00% CP, 5 weapons technique specific to Shuriken usage in ranged combat. Pivly increases Shuriken accuracy 20%, additional 5% increase in range damage for 15 seconds when active. Nice one, Naruto, shouted Kiba, laughing heartily. Naruto though was wide-eyed. It was an accident, I swear. He didn't know that would happen. He really didn't. Uruka glared and threw another booklet at Naruto nailing him right between the eyes. You've obtained the Estefeat book Kanai and Shuriken Bukijutsu. This Estefeat has already been learned. Cannot learn again. Naruto glared at the pink warning closing it and setting the book on the desktop opening it to give the appearance he was reading it. Then it occurred to him that he'd learned the whole book instantly. He also learned that based on the book he'd been throwing Kanai and Shuriken wrong for years now. Apparently someone decided to teach him incorrectly years ago. Naruto sat in his seat now glaring at the booklet and grumbling to himself about pranking Shugo Sensei so hard he'd never be able to show himself in public again. Okay, CL, let's go outside and get to work on refreshing those Bukijutsu estefeats, said Aruka, allowing the students to close their booklets only too happily. Outside the group all stood in front of five target dummies, six people per line. Now, you will step to the line and throw five kanai then ten shuriken. After that, go to the end of your line. Everyone will get five chances to throw. We will take your best round for your grade, explained Uruka, a gold, appearing over his head a moment later. Quest alert kanai and shuriken oh my. Score 80% or better you have five attempts to throw 80% or better with kanai and shuriken completion award. 400 EXP academy kanai 10, and academy shuriken 20. Completion failure. 100 EXP now this was Naruto's kind of quest. And with his newly acquired estefeats he was going to ace this test. Naruto was third in his line and was excited to get to the line and show his stuff. He stepped up and threw. His first try he hit with 4 kanai and 7 shuriken. He was miffed to have missed his quest requirement on his first try but was pleased to see he gained 10 EXP per kanai hit and 5 EXP per shuriken hit. Naruto's second time up he hit with all 5 kanai but once again only 6 shuriken leaving him just about 7% short. On Naruto third time up, he hit 86% completing the quest. You've hit the target mostly. Completion awarded. 400 EXP in Academy Kanai 10, and Academy Shuriken 20. Naruto was pleased only to get another alert right away. Quest alert my personal best. Score 90% or better you have two attempts to throw 90% or better with Kanai and Shuriken. Completion award. 1000 EXP Academy Intermediate Taijutsu S defeat book completion failure. 200 EXP if the last quest had him excited then this quest had him chomping at the bit. Kanai Bukijutsu S level has risen by 1. Pivly increases Kanai accuracy 15%, Shuriken Bukijutsu S level has risen by 1. Pivly increases Shuriken accuracy 25%, Yada. Shouted Naruto excitedly. Not only did he get a new quest after succeeding with his last one but he also gained a level with his two S defeats also increasing their Piv accuracy buff. Naruto waited practically bouncing with excitement once again to get a chance to beat this next quest. 
stepping up to the line Naruto let them rip hitting 85% again but gaining experience anyway. Okay, last try Naruto, do your best, said Uruka, watching from the side and keeping score as the students worked. Naruto threw the kunai first hitting 5 for 5. Then came the shuriken where hit 8 for 10. No, cried Naruto dropping to his knees again. That's an 86% Naruto, good job, said Uruka with a kind smile. Quest failed completion failure, 200 EXP. Naruto looked completely dejected. Congratulations, your level has increased by 1. Naruto perked back up immediately at that news. So the failure s but a level up has to be good. Naruto collected the practice weapons he threw and returned them to the teachers. He decided to wait until he got back to CL to check out what his level did for him so that he could focus on it. Practice makes perfect causing your decks to go up by one. Sweet, cheered Naruto excitedly. He was getting S defeats and stats like mad. If things kept up at this pace he'd max out his level in no time and then the Hokage title would be his. Okay, students, back inside for history said Uruka, earning a groan from all the students. Naruto was actually excited to get back to CL so he could sit down and look more at this status screen and maybe even his S defeats if they have a menu for it. Once inside a lecture began and Naruto tuned it out to check out his status page. Name. Uzumaki Naruto CL. The gamer title. Academy student plus 25% experience gained to level 10, level. LB4 affiliation. Konoha HP. 700 700 CP, 700 700 STR, 10 BIT, 2010, DEX, 6 INT, 2010. WIS, 3 LUCK, STATUS, PLUS 1 O, BIT, PLUS 1 O, INT, PLUS, PERCENT EXPERIENCE 2. S DEFEAT PLUS 100, HP and PLUS 100, CP per level, PRANKSTER, MINUS 5% REPUTATION GAINS, PLUS 5% EXPERIENCE TO TRAP, S DEFEAT plus 5% experience to stealth s defeat. Uzumaki Naruto is the dead last of the Konoha Academy having failed the graduation twice before while clearly not prepared to graduate. His past is shrouded in mysteries for him to uncover. Point. 5. Ryo. 3500 Naruto wanted to scream in outrage. A level didn't give him any base stat increases, only points to spend. Such bull. Naruto knew that if he increased his dex it would improve his accuracy which would have helped him with that last quest he failed. So Naruto hit the button 4 times bring it up to 10 total points leaving him with 1 point. Seeing that Wiss was his lowest he added a point to it hoping that if he brought himself more in balance then things would improve. Name. Uzumaki Naruto CL. The gamer title. Academy student plus 25% experience gained to level 10, level. LB4 affiliation. Konoha HP. 700 700 CP. 700 700 STR. 10 BIT. 2010 DEX. 10 INT. 2010. WIS. 4 LUCK. Status. Plus 1 O BIT. Plus 1 O INT. Plus. Percent experience 2. S defeat plus 100 HP and plus 100 CP per level prankster minus 5% reputation gains plus 5% experience to trap S defeat plus 5% experience to stealth S defeat. Uzumaki Naruto is the dead last of the Konoha Academy having failed the graduation twice before while clearly not prepared to graduate. His past is shrouded in mysteries for him to uncover. Point. Oh. Ryo. 3500 satisfied with his changes he tapped the accept button making the adjustment arrows vanish. S defeats, he whispered next opening another orange window with a number of small thumb images with a name next to it, the type of ability, S defeat level and a brief explanation next to it. Gamer's mind piv max allows the user to calmly and logically think things through. Allows peaceful state of mind. Immunity to psychological status effect. Gamer's Body Piv Max grants a body that allows for the user to live the real world like a game. After sleep in a bed he restores HP, CP and all status effects. Observe Piv, active 2 through continuous observation, a S defeat to observe objects, situations, and persons was generated that allows for quick information gathering. The higher the S defeat, the greater the data obtained. Kanai Bukijutsu Piv, active 2 Pivly increases accuracy and parry. When active it increases strength. Shuriken Bukijutsu Piv, active 2 Pivly increases accuracy. When active it increases range damage.
Trap Piv 1 Pivly increase US defeat when making and placing traps. Stealth Piv 1 Pivly increases your S defeat when trying to sneak into and out of places. Pivly increase your ability to avoid being tracked or spotted by others. Henge Active Max The perfect disguise is hard to come by but with a little chakra and some imagination you can become anyone or anything. A perfect transformation S defeat allowing you to become anyone or anything. This is a true transformation, not an illusion that most shinobi use. Gawari me active 2 log, all praise that which is available only to save us from the direst of circumstances, amen. Used to change places with objects to prevent damage to oneself. Naruto read his list of S defeats and while it wasn't long it was interesting. He tapped on the trap S defeat to see if it gave more detail. Trap Piv LV 422.73%. Traps are an essential S defeat to any shinobi. They are used to surprise and confuse enemies and friends alike depending on the situation. They can be used both for fun and for defeat equally well. Pivly increases trap effectiveness 12.5% Pivly increases trap damage 12.5% Pivly increases trap placement 12.5% Naruto nodded to himself as he read the details. He never thought of his ability to set a prank as laying the groundwork for more effective traps. He closed that window and tapped Stealth, Stealth, Piv, LV 23.61%. Stealth is an essential S defeat to any shinobi. It is used to sneak and hide in equal parts so as not to be caught by friend or foe. Pivly increases Stealth Infiltration 10%, Pivly increases Stealth Avoidance 10%, Pivly increases Stealth Concealment 10%. Neat. Naruto mumbled to himself, finally closing the window entirely and trying to pay attention to the lesson at hand eventually nodding off anyway. After history they all had lunch, while the other students had lunch, Naruto went back to the target range and practiced the two bukijutsu he had learned managing to gain to more levels for each gaining another 10% accuracy for both. After lunch it was more CL room time, Naruto's favorite. So first, here is the review booklets for both Squad Tactics and Academy Taijutsu. I know it's more of the same from the last few years but clearly some of you have not taken to these lessons as well as you should have, said Uruka. Naruto couldn't help but think that Uruka was speaking to him specifically. Once again the two booklets offered Naruto the S defeat to learn but in an effort to avoid getting into trouble Naruto chose to hold off until after the Academy let out to really dig into it. Unfortunately that meant when they all went outside for taijutsu practice, Naruto got his handed to him and ended up failing three more quests, one for each match. He still got some good experience from it and even gained another Piv S defeat. Physical Endurance Piv 4 The body's durability increases, allowing for less damage taken. 4% decrease in damage taken by attacks. It was painful to learn but he didn't have much choice. On the other hand he could still see where this would be a valuable S defeat later on. Naruto finally left the academy around 4 pm. He'd spent an extra hour after CL working on the target range gaining another level for the two bukijutsu and another 5% more accuracy to each. It also increased the active abilities this time. Kanai bukijutsu piv active LV 5 EXP 0.00% CP. 5 weapons technique specific to kanai usage in both melee and ranged combat. Pivly increases kanai accuracy 25%, Pivly increases kanai parry 10%. Additional 15% increase in STR when active. Shuriken Bukijutsu, Piv, active, LV5 EXP, 0.00% CP, 5 weapons technique specific to shuriken usage in ranged combat. Pivly increases shuriken accuracy 35%. Additional 7.5% increase in damage when active. Now Naruto had another quest just burning a hole in his pocket. Naruto rarely ever went into the basement of his apartment building simply because the chakra rats tended to be both aggressive and disease-ridden and he couldn't exactly afford a visit to the hospital. Now however, all he had to do was defeat them all regardless if they poisoned him because he could just go to sleep and all the status ailments would be gone in the morning. Stepping off the final step in the basement Naruto called them out. Alright you, rat bad guys. Time to clear you urs out of this place. It was only a second later the first of the rats attacked. It darted out from under the steps just behind him and bit into his ankle. Naruto yelped but turned quickly drove a kunai into the little bad guy defeating it with one hit. It was only level 1 so very easy to defeat. 
the next 10 were not so easy to defeat. They ranged from level 1 to level 4 so while some died in one hit most took between 3 and 4 hits to end. After the 20th defeat he received a notice. Congratulations. Your level has increased by 1. Naruto barely had time to think about it before a King Chakra Rat appeared. It was level 7. King Chakra Rat LVL7. HP. 1000 1000 CP. 400 400 King Chakra Rat is the leader of a nest. He is the meanest of the bunch and bites the hardest but in his time as king has had the benefit of the largest portions causing him to gain excessive weight slowing him down significantly. Naruto was thankful for the information but not pleased by it. This was going to be one really mean rat. Naruto checked his own health quickly to see he was just above half but the poison he'd taken from the bites were slowly ticking his health downward. So you need to die quickly or I'm completely ed. So bring it you fat bad guy, said Naruto taunting the rat. A special S defeat has been created through a special act. Through continuous trash talking, a S defeat to anger an opponent, taunt, LVL, one has been created. Naruto was surprised slightly to have learned such a S defeat but quickly closed the menu as the rat now looked really angry and seemed to have taken a red tint to it. Crap, said Naruto. Red like that usually means rage. So you can only attack physically and only me but your damage will be increased as a result. True to form, the rat charged straight at him. Naruto rolled left just as the rat closed in on him and sliced the ugly bad guy along his side dropping its health about 5% as he ped. Naruto rolled back away from the rat to dodge the tail that swung rather suddenly like a whip. The rat turned around to look at Naruto again only to charge forward again. Naruto repeated his roll slice and rolled away again. He didn't really have much ceiling clearance to be jumping around. In all this, the rat seemed to have a pattern and now Naruto had that pattern down pat. It wasn't long before the rat was down to its last 25%. The rat seemed to have lost its red aura and tried to run back to its hole. Oh no you don't, shouted Naruto. Kanai Bukijutsu. He felt his arms strengthen instantly and pulled a second kanai and jumped forward driving both kanai as hard as he could into the back of the rat. One kanai went into its neck and the other into the head defeating the rat finally. A special S defeat has been created through a special act. Through creative use of kanai, a S defeat to counter attack an opponent, roll slash, LVL, one has been created. A special S defeat has been created through a special act. Through creative use of kanai, a S defeat to finish a weakened opponent, double pierce, LVL, one has been created. Nice, said Naruto. Way to go me. Naruto checked his health to see he was just under half. His decision was really easy at this point. He quickly collected the tails from the dead rats and threw the bodies away. Then he ran up the stairs and turned in the tails as proof that he'd done the quest. Congratulations. Your level has increased by one. I'll deal with the levels in the morning, for now it's time to sleep, Naruto said to himself rushing for the stairs to get up to his room and into bed. Chapter 2. You have slept in your bed. HP and CP are fully stored. Naruto's eyes snapped wide open at hearing that chime. He smiled brightly at seeing the message. It was still happening meaning there was a chance this was all real. Yes, he shouted springing up to his feet and his arms rose in celebration. Shut up, shouted voices from the surrounding apartments. Naruto though just grinned. He ran out to the living room, opened his bag and pulled out the two booklets that he knew to be Estefeet's books. You've obtained the Estefeet book Beginner Academy Taijutsu. Would you like to learn the Estefeet? Naruto tapped the, confirm, white button. You've obtained the Estefeet, Beginner Academy Taijutsu. Beginner Academy Taijutsu, PIV, LV1 EXP 0.00%. Taijutsu or hand-to-hand -hand combat is another essential Estefeet for all shinobi to learn. The beginner level focuses on appropriate stances and basic strikes, kicks, and blocks. Pivly increases STR 5%. Pivly increases VIT 5%. Pivly increases DEX 5%. Yeah, said Naruto, not too loudly though so he wouldn't bother his neighbors again. Naruto took the next booklet out. You've obtained the Estefeet book Beginner Academy Tactics. Would you like to learn the Estefeet? Naruto tapped the, confirm, white button. However instead of learning the Estefeet a red error box popped up instead. You cannot learn this Estefeet. Required WIS. 10. Naruto groaned and set the booklet back down opening his status screen. 
Luckily he had points to burn at this point. He dropped 6 points into Wiz to get himself to the required 10 points. He then put the remaining 4 points into Dexterity. He was going to get his accuracy up if it defeated him. Quickly tapping the accept button and closing his status window he picked up the booklet again. You've obtained the S-Defeat book Beginner Academy Tactics. Would you like to learn the S-Defeat? Naruto rolled his eyes but tapped the, confirm, white button anyway. You've obtained the S-Defeat, Beginner Academy Tactics. Beginner Academy Tactics, PIV, LB1 EXP 0.00%. Team Formations, Ambush Points, Counter Ambush and many other tactics. Pibli increases int 5% Pibli increases with 5% Naruto grinned and closed the window only to have another pop up. A special S defeat has been created through a special act. Through learning academy tactics and taijutsu, a S defeat to improve group combat, teamwork, LVL, one has been created. Now what the is this? asked Naruto. S defeats. The S defeats window had grown since yesterday to include the three new attacks and the new Piv abilities he'd just learned. Taunt active one trash talking at its best. This ability will enrage a weak-willed opponent into attacking, causing them to focus on you to their own detriment. Opponent's damage dealt increases 25% and damage taken by 10%. Rage will fade when opponent HP drops below 25% or after 60 seconds. Roll slash active one a counter attack designed to dodge an opponent at the last moment by rolling past them and slashing at their side. 15% increase in critical chance. 25% increase in attack damage. Can only be executed with edged weapons. Double Pierce Active 1A finishing move to inflict MIB piercing damage on a weakened opponent. 50% increase in critical chance. 200% increase in attack damage. Can only be executed with knives. Teamwork PIV 1 PIVLY increases teamwork. While working with a team all team damage is increased by 10% when all members are attacking the same target. Naruto had to reread the teamwork s defeat a few times because it was such a mib boost. The only downside is that it required a team of people and for the team of people to all focus on the same target. Okay, so I have a ton of to work on. Man, this is gonna be tough, complained Naruto. Huffing once in annoyance he closed out of the open windows and decided to go about his normal morning routine. Once again he got the 10 minute warning quest to make it to the academy on time which he happily accepted. He arrived with almost a full minute to spare this time. Running for the goal has caused your STR to go up by 1. Running for the goal has caused your VIT to go up by 1. Running for the goal has caused your DEX to go up by 1. Naruto would have cheered again but just didn't feel up to it instead choosing to sit down and try to observe the rest of his CLMates before the teacher showed up. Akamichi Choji Academy Student LVL 8 HP, 300 300 CP, 100 100 STR, 20 VIT, 30 DEX, 5 INT, 10 WIS, 10 LUCK, 4 Akamichi Choji is a member of the famed Akamichi clan known for their large frames and larger appetites. Capable of the unique body manipulation jutsu make them very powerful shinobi. Choji is a very kind young man but has a short fuse in the event a certain three-letter word is used around him. Naruto smiled, he'd liked Choji when they'd hung out in the past. His description was quite fitting and gave Naruto a new appreciation for the rotund boy. Inazuka Kiba Academy student LVL 9 HP, 200 200 CP, 100 100 STR. 15 BIT, 20 DEX, 15 INT, 10 WIS, 7 LUCK, 3 Inazuka Kiba is a member of the feral Inazuka clan known for their close relationship with Ninkan. That close relationship has allowed their clan to develop very animalistic abilities in jutsu making them fierce combatants and excellent trackers. Kiba, though a son of the clan head is fairly average for an Inazuka. Naruto frowned a bit at Kiba's description. From what he could see of the stat, Kiba should have been a very powerful fighter. His stats were well balanced and he knew a good number of techniques from what Naruto remembered. Aburame Shino Academy student LVL 9 HP, 200 200 CP, 150 150 its STR, 10 BIT, 20 DEX, 7 INT, 15 WIS, 15 LUCK. 2 Aburame Shino is a member of the acclaimed Aburame clan known for their silent nature and appreciation of the little things. 
known to host a colony of Kikaichu within their bodies that make their techniques and abilities not just powerful but also extremely creepy. Shino is the heir to the clan and a very capable shinobi in training. Naruto tried not to shudder as he thought about sharing his body with anything like that. Still, Shino was pretty cool if a bit creepy. Observe, S level has risen by one. Nice, just in time to look at the prick, said Naruto, chuckling to himself. Name. Uchiha Sasuke title. Academy student plus 25% experience gained to level 10, level. LB12 affiliation. Konoha HP. 400 400 CP. 460 460 its STR. 20 VIT. 40 DEX. 34 int. 46 WIS. 32 luck. 1 status. Unawakened Sharingan plus 2 Dex and plus 3 Int and plus 1 Wiz per level Avenger plus 25% to all stats when attacking Uchiha Itachi Firebug minus 15% cost to Kaden Jutsu plus 1 O damage to Kaden Jutsu. Uchiha Sasuke is the last loyal surviving member of the infamous Uchiha clan. Well known for their Dujutsu the Sharingan which has allowed them to excel as shinobi in the field. His past is clouded by the pain and misery of losing his family so much that vengeance is all that remains to him. Naruto grumbled unhappily as he glared at the Uchiha stats. The information his observe gave him now was kind of awesome but it didn't change the fact that he felt Sasuke was overpowered. It helped even less that the guy was a complete prick. Good morning, CL, announced Uruka, entering the CL room followed closely by Mizuki. There was an echoed, good morning, sensei, from the students. So yesterday we reviewed more of the physical aspects of shinobi work. Today, we're going to focus on the more chakra-related side of things, explained Uruka. Before we start are there any questions? Naruto was quick to tune him out as he began lecturing on chakra and its yin and yang. Reputation, mumbled Naruto. He was curious about the reputation gains he'd made and what kind of impact they had. Reputation Kanahagakur hated 15 one thousandths Landlord hated 750 one thousandths Saruka friendly 560 one thousandths Mizuki. 1 one thousandths Sarutobi Hirazan friendly 950 one thousandths Konoha Merchant Guild hated 5 one thousandths. Ichiraku Ramen honored 9,000 10 thousandths Akamichi Bakery hated 15 one thousandths Higurashi Weapons Neutral 500 one thousandths Konoha General Store hated 1 one thousandth Konoha Clothiers hated 1 one thousandth Yakiniku Q hated 5 one thousandths Farm Stand hated 1 one thousandth Surplus Arms hated 1 one thousandth Konoha 12 Unfriendly 990 one thousandths Uchiha Sasuke Unfriendly 550 one thousandths Haruno Sakura Unfriendly 10 one thousandths Nara Shikamaru Friendly 105 one thousandths Akamichi Choji Friendly 150 one thousandths Yamanaka Ino Neutral 500 one thousandths Hayuga Hanada Honored 6500 ten thousandths Inazuka Kiba Friendly 50 one thousandths Abarame Shino Neutral 500 one thousandths Neutral 500 one thousandths Neutral 500 one thousandths Neutral 500 one thousandths Naruto wasn't really sure what to make of the info. It seemed he was mostly hated by everyone but a few he had regular contact with. At least there were some he was on friendly terms with, even a couple of honored. Naruto tapped the, in the top left corner and similar to the status page a black box with yellow writing appeared but no arrows pointed to anything. Reputation is your status with various factions with the game world. A hated status will often have reduced or limited quest availability and increased cost of goods if they are even willing to sell to you. As your reputation improves you will have more quests available and reduced cost of goods if they have goods to sell. Well that's some bull, groused Naruto to himself. It was soft enough to not be heard thankfully but did earn him a glance from Shikamaru who happened to be sitting next to him today. Troublesome, Shikamaru grumbled. What are you doing now, Naruto? He asked, his curiosity finally getting the better of him. Huh. Oh, nothing, just reviewing some stuff said Naruto, hoping Shikamaru would drop it. Whatever, said Shikamaru, clearly seeing Naruto was hiding something. Just don't get me involved in one of your pranks. It's too troublesome. Naruto laughed nervously. You got it. The rest of the morning CL was very boring and Naruto eventually joined Shikamaru in napping on the desk. Lunch found Naruto once more at the target range gaining one more level in his Bukijutsu S defeats but gained no improvement in the Pivor active S defeats. 
even so he was feeling more comfortable and familiar with the weapons than he ever had in the past. Naruto finished his last toss and went to collect his weapons. The first kanai he pulled loose snapped the tip off. These things are terrible, he groaned out loud. Hey, wait a second, what happened to the shuriken and kanai I got from that quest yesterday? Naruto used observe on the kanai and shuriken still stuck in the target. Dull and rusted kanai old kanai do reduced damage and break easily. Minus 5% damage and accuracy. Stats. 1 to 3 damage melee, 3 to 5 damage range, doer 1 25th. Dull and rusted shuriken old shuriken do reduced damage and break easily. Minus 5% damage and accuracy. Stats. 2 to 4 damage range, doer 1 25th. Naruto growled. Inventory. A new orange window popped up for him showing several thumb-size images, most of which were empty, and an image of his body overlaid with several thumb-size images indicating his clothing and equipment. Cool, whispered Naruto, grinning like an idiot. Naruto tapped his jacket wondering what kind of stats it gave him. Orange overstock jacket made of a thin lightweight material this jacket does not provide much protection from weapons or the elements. Stats. Plus 5 death, minus 15% effectiveness to stealth, minus 5% reputation gains, plus 0.50 to speed, your 2 thirtieths. What? demanded Naruto loudly. That's bull, again. This game is ing broken, kami it. Naruto closed the window in disgust and annoyance. He tapped the icon for his pants expecting similar, he wasn't wrong. Orange overstocked running pants made of a thin lightweight material these pants do not provide much protection from weapons or the elements. Stats. Plus 7 death, minus 15% effectiveness to stealth, minus 5% reputation gains, plus 0.50 to speed, your 3 thirtieths. Naruto tapped on his shoes next. Blue Academy issue shinobi sandals made of lightweight material these sandals are perfect for learners as they do not impede flexibility or chakra. Stats. Plus 3, death, plus 5% effectiveness to, stealth, plus 0.50 to speed, your 10 thirtieths. Then his goggles. Green goggles high quality eye protection often used by dujutsu user to protect their eyes from damage in the field. Stats. Plus 5, death, plus 10% effectiveness to, observe, your 40 fiftieths. That was better, Naruto thought. He could see his leg pouch had one slot with the damaged kanai ignit to it and his hip pouch had three slots with his shuriken taking up one of the slots and the other two were left empty. Naruto looked over to his inventory and in the two occupied slots were the academy kanai 10 and academy shuriken 20. Naruto touched one and dragged it over top of the currently equipped item and they traded places. He quickly repeated the action with the other and closed his inventory. Naruto lined up to try out his new weapons only to be interrupted with the KSA bell chiming the end of lunch. Naruto trudged unhappily back to CL, pouting the whole way because he didn't get to try out his new equipment. Speaking of new equipment, he'd definitely have to stop at one of the weapon shops in town to see if he could do anything about his running suit, he either needed to replace it, something he was dreading, or get it repaired. It would be a matter of what he could afford. The positive of this was that he now knew of at least one store that he was neutral with which meant not getting overpriced goods. Welcome back from lunch, everyone, began Aruka. Now, let's start with a review of the three basic academy jutsu. Mizuki once again walked along the end cap handing a stack of scrolls to each student to pee down. Naruto got his three scrolls. You've obtained the S-Defeat scroll, Henge. This S-Defeat has already been learned. Cannot learn again. You've obtained the S-Defeat scroll, Kawari me. This S-Defeat has already been learned. Cannot learn again. You've obtained the S-Defeat scroll, Bunshin. Would you like to learn the S-Defeat? It, I'm not getting my kicked again because I chose to wait until after school to learn something, said Naruto, tapping the, confirm, Y button. You cannot learn this S-Defeat. Required WIS, 25% of CP. Naruto blinked, then blinked again. He had 900 CP the last time he checked and only 10 WIS. He couldn't get close to that number if he tried, not with one of his status effects giving him plus 100 CP with every level. Even now he would need 225 WIS and that number would just keep going up. Anyo, Baruka sensei said Naruto raising his hand. Yes Naruto. I can't learn Bunshin, he said. Naruto, I'm sure if you put some real effort into it you could learn. 
now stop causing scene, said Uruka, effectively dismissing him. But sensei, he tried to protest. What, Naruto? I have too much chakra for it, he tried to explain. There is no such thing as too much chakra, Naruto. Only not enough control, said Uruka trying to placate him. So how do I improve my control, he asked. I've already taught you this, try to remember, said Uruka. Naruto frowned. What did Uruka teach him before? Was it that stupid leaf thing? Yes, Naruto, that, stupid leaf thing, is a very basic chakra control exercise, he explained. I suggest you spend some time working on it if you want to improve your control enough to use Bunshin correctly. Naruto groaned. A special S defeat has been created through a special act. You remember a past lesson that was previously disregarded. Chakra control, leaf sticking, LVL, one has been created. Naruto immediately opened his S defeats list and tapped the leaf sticking. Leaf sticking PIV active LV1 EXP 0.00% CP 15 per 5 seconds introductory chakra control exercise taught to all academy students. This exercise improves your chakra control the more you level it up. Pivly increases with 5%. Naruto wasn't overly pleased with the exercise. Even if he maxed it out and gained a 100% bonus to his wis it would still only give him 20 wis total which wouldn't come close to meeting the requirements for Bunshin. And that was yuming the piv buff even went up that high. Right then, said Naruto. Sensei, do you have a leaf? Uruka smiled kindly before taking a leaf out of his hip pouch and handing it to Naruto. Here you go, said Uruka. You carry around leaves. How do you think we leave behind leaves when we use Shunshin? asked Uruka. Really? asked Naruto. I mean, really? Really? chuckled Uruka, nodding slightly. Huh, who knew? said Naruto, laughing a little himself before sticking the leaf to his forehead. Leaf sticking. Naruto sat at his desk focusing on the leaf on his forehead while his CP continued to tick downwards rather rapidly. Just short of the 5 minute mark Naruto ended the S defeat allowing the leaf to float down and his CP start to recharge. Leaf sticking S level has risen by 1. 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 Wow, said Naruto appreciatively. He'd gained 4 level in just 5 minutes. Leaf sticking PIV active LV5 EXP 97.85% CP 10 per 5 seconds introductory chakra control exercise taught to all academy students. This exercise improves your chakra control the more you level it up. Pibli increases with 6%. Naruto read the update and was not impressed. Sure, it cut down the cost of the S defeat but it only increased the PIV buff by 1%. Naruto ended up actually paying attention to CL while watching his CP refill in his status screen. An hour later the sensei began having each student practice the three techniques. Naruto received quests for each though the reward was very minor, only 200 EXP each for the two he could do and 100 EXP for the bunch and he failed on and no bonus quests for succeeding. Finally CL ended and Naruto was set free for the afternoon with only one. Make the two objectives in mind. First he needed to go to Higurashi Weapons and then he had a bowl of Ichiraku Ramen with his name on it. Higurashi Weapons was a small rundown looking shop at the end of the market district. According to the wooden sign hanging above the door they had been serving Konoha since the founding of the village. Naruto cautiously stepped inside, allowing the door to close with a soft thud behind him and a jingle of a bell. There wasn't anyone readily visible to Naruto as he entered deeper into the shop. Oh, he called out cautiously. Be with you in a second, called gruff male voice from somewhere in the back. Naruto looked around the shop knowing it was fairly safe for now. It turned out to be a veritable cornucopia of weapons and armor. His observe was working overtime with everything he looked at. Now, what can I do for you? Asked the shopkeeper, setting down a large box with a heavy thud on the counter. Um, I need to see about getting some better gear or getting my current gear repaired said Naruto, still unsure how the man would react. Well, fixing the crap you're wearing now shouldn't be a problem but I would strongly recommend burning it and let me tell you up front, I ain't touching that thing until it has been thoroughly washed and sanitized. That said, let's see if we can get you some decent gear. How much have you got to spend? I only have 3,500 Ryo, said Naruto. I didn't ask how much you have. 
I asked how much can you spend? If I take all your money how will you eat? Pay your bills. Live. Oh, um, then I guess about 1500, said Naruto. It was the money he'd been saving up to buy a new game but this was more important. Right, we should be able to get you some decent pants and a better jacket but not much more than that, said the shopkeeper. That works for me, said Naruto, finally starting to relax around the man. Naruto took a moment to study the shopkeeper as he trundled through the narrow aisles. He was a large man, easily twice Naruto's height. He had a large gut but his arms were thicker than Naruto was and they were very well muscled. Here, said the shopkeeper, handing Naruto a pair of black pants. They looked like standard issue shinobi pant. Black Academy issue pants made of a thin lightweight material and reinforced with light leather armor inside these pants provide reasonable defense. Stats. Plus 1 5 def, plus 5% effectiveness to stealth, plus 5 dex, plus 0.50 to speed, dure 60 60ths. Naruto's observe reported, making him very excited for try these on. Pick a jacket, said the shopkeeper holding up four different jackets. Black and Crimson Academy issue jacket, made of a thin lightweight material and reinforced with light leather armor inside this jacket provides reasonable defense. Stats. Plus 1 2 def, plus 5 dex, plus 5 str, plus 0.50 to speed, dure 60 60ths. Black and Navy Academy issued jacket, made of a thin lightweight material and reinforced with light leather armor inside this jacket provides reasonable defense. Stats. Plus 1 2 def, plus 5 dex, plus 5 str, plus 0.50 to speed, dure 60 60ths. Black and Olive Academy issued jacket, made of a thin lightweight material and reinforced with light leather armor inside this jacket provides reasonable defense. Stats. Plus 1 2 def, plus 5 dex, plus 5 str, plus 0.50 to speed, dure 60 60ths. Black Academy issued jacket, made of a thin lightweight material and reinforced with light leather armor inside this jacket provides reasonable defense. Stats. Plus 1 2 def, plus 5 dex, plus 5% effectiveness to stealth, plus 0.50 to speed, dure 60 60ths. Um, black and olive, said Naruto. It wasn't orange and while the navy looked cool, it would be a cold day in before Naruto dressed more like the Uchiha prick. The shopkeeper nodded and tossed the jacket to him, hanging the others back up. That's 1200 Rio total. You could probably get some cheap gloves or forearm or shin protectors with what you have left. Um, no thanks, said Naruto, deciding to quit while he was ahead. The shopkeeper shrugged and led Naruto back to the counter of the shop where Naruto paid and thanked the man for his help. Before you go, my regular delivery girl is out on a mission. If you've got time I could use the help, offered the shopkeeper. Naruto grinned at seeing the blue window pop up. Quest alert deliver the goods. Make the Higurashi weapons deliveries in place of the regular delivery girl. Deliver the box to the Hokage Tower in 15 minutes or less. Completion award. 500 EXP 500 Ryo increase reputation with Higurashi weapons completion failure. 100 EXP 100 Ryo decrease reputation with Higurashi weapons Naruto tap the confirm Y. Great, take this box to the Hokage Tower. Be careful, it's heavy. Oh, and make sure the receptionist signs for it. Naruto picked up the box happily and ran out of the shop with it. As soon as he was out the door the timer popped up and began to count down. Let's do this, he almost shouted as he took off at his top speed. Nine minutes later Naruto had arrived at the tower and reported to the tower reception with the box. As soon as he got her to sign the form the timer stopped with 0 hours 5 minutes and 43 seconds left on the clock. You've completed the delivery with time to spare. Return to Higurashi Weapons to claim your reward. Naruto grinned and strolled out of the tower with a little bounce to his step. You made good time kid, greeted the shopkeeper when Naruto came in waving the signed form around. You bet I did, said Naruto. Completion awarded. 500 EXP, 500 Ryo, plus 50 to reputation with Higurashi Weapons. Bonus award. 500 EXP, 100 EXP per minute remaining on timer, 500 Rio, 100 Rio per minute remaining on timer, plus 250 to reputation with Higurashi weapons, 50 reputation points per minute remaining on timer. 
Good work, come back next week and I might have another delivery for you, said the shopkeeper. Naruto finally bothered to look up at the man's name. Higurashi hit an LV. Thanks, Higurashi-san, said Naruto. That was awesome. He doubled his award just for being fast. Now get out of here, I'm closing up for the night. Naruto said a quick farewell and departed the shop, eager to get home and try out his new clothes. Once home, Naruto popped open his inventory and dropped the new clothes into the open slots and dragged them to his chest slot and legs slot. It was kind of a weird feeling as it happened but Naruto wasn't going to complain about it at all. After it was done he ran to the bathroom to check out his new look in the mirror. I make this look good, he complimented himself, grinning all the same. Now Naruto had to figure out what to do with the rest of his evening. Obviously his plans for Ichiraku had changed so the first order of business was to get some instant ramen in his belly. Naruto ended up eating a few bowls of instant, cup ramen, for dinner, it wasn't exactly cooking but it would do. The rest of the night was spent working on, leaf sticking, and video games in between while he waited for his chakra to replenish. By the time he'd pet out for the night he'd gained 5 more levels with it. Leaf sticking, PIV, active, LV10 EXP 63.82% CP8 per 5 seconds, introductory chakra control exercise taught to all academy students. This exercise improves your chakra control the more you level it up. Pivly increases with 8%. Chapter 3. You have slept in your bed. HP and CP are fully stored. Naruto awoke with a wide grin on his face. Closing the sleep message and sitting up Naruto started his day the best way he knew how. Leaf sticking, he said as he placed the leaf from his nightstand to his forehead. A little more than 9 minutes later he cancelled the S defeat allowing the leaf to float free. Leaf sticking, S level has risen by 1. Leaf sticking, S level has risen by 1. Leaf sticking, PIV, active, LV12 EXP 43.12% CP8 per 5 seconds, introductory chakra control exercise taught to all academy students. This exercise improves your chakra control the more you level it up. Pivly increases with 8%. Pivly reduces excess CP lost from using too much chakra by 5%. Yeah, said Naruto, not just pleased with the levels but also with the CP loss reduction for all of his other S defeats. Naruto rushed through his morning routine and got outside into the open air ready for the day to kick off. Naruto noticed immediately that the streets were much more crowded than usual for this time of the morning. Then he remembered that today was the KSA induction day for new students. Naruto charged a bit of chakra to his legs and leapt up to the nearest rooftop. A special S defeat has been created through a special act. You leap tall buildings in a single bound. Movement, Chakra Leap, LVL, 1 has been created. Chakra Leap, PIV, LV1 EXP 0.00% CP1 per 10 meters, using chakra to reinforce your leg muscles you can now jump to incredible heights. Additional jumping range when active. Cool, but shouldn't that have already been a S defeat? Asked Naruto, pausing on the rooftop to read the description. And does that mean it will use chakra automatically? Naruto shrugged and ran for the roof ledge and made the leap to the next building. He watched his CP to see what would happen and it momentarily dipped before refilling almost immediately. Huh, that's interesting. Naruto shrugged again. He had to get to CL and still had a ways to go. Pushing a bit of chakra into his legs again he began to run across the roof and leap to the next all the way to the academy. A special S defeat has been created through a special act. You run like the wind, movement, chakra sprint, LVL, 1 has been created. Chakra sprint, active, LV1 EXP 0.00% CP20, using chakra to reinforce your leg muscles to grant you a quick burst of speed. Additional plus 20.0 to run speed for 10 seconds when active. More S defeats that should have already been there. What is going on with this game? Naruto asked, frowning in frustration. I guess the game can't know everything but still, this is a bit silly. Naruto dropped to the ground from the roof across from the KSA entrance landing with a soft thud. Physical endurance S level has increased by 1. Naruto glanced at his HP and saw that he did indeed take 10 points of damage from dropping off the roof. He'd honestly never even consider that dropping from a roof like that was hurting him because it was something all shinobi did regularly. On the other hand his HP had already recovered from the fall so it didn't really matter. 
maybe I should use chakra to reduce the fall damage. A special S defeat has been created through a special act. You can't hurt me, protective, chakra reinforcement, LVL. One has been created. Chakra reinforcement, active, LV10.00% CP, 100. Using chakra to reinforce your body can now protect you from taking some damage. Additional 100 HP damage reduction when active. Reinforcement lasts until minus 100 damage has been inflicted upon you. What? That's ing awesome, said Naruto excitedly. I didn't even have to try to use the chakra first, just thinking about it created it. Then Naruto took a moment to register his morning events. Quote exclamation mark. That's three more techniques I have to build up. Son of. Naruto groaned one more time before dragging himself inside the academy for what was bound to be a really long day. Naruto ended up sitting through the day of CL bored out his mind while Aruka droned on and on about history and the tactics he'd already learned completely from the S defeat book. He'd already drained his CP twice, once repeatedly using chakra reinforcement, and once using leaf sticking. Okay, time for lunch and the rest of today is conditioning, ordered Aruka. Naruto grinned, he could totally get behind the conditioning plan but that would mean he definitely needed to eat lunch for a change. Naruto got himself to Ichiraku as quickly as he could and happily sat to eat his favorite meal. Oh, Naruto-kun, haven't seen you much since Academy Klee started up again, commented Ayame. Just been busy, lots of training. I have to graduate this time or I'm out of the program, explained Naruto. Okay, just don't forget about us, said Ayame, smiling sweetly at the boy. Of course not, Ayame Nichan. I could never forget you guys. I meant to come yesterday but things got a bit crazy. Oh yeah, do you like my new clothes? I got them yesterday. I know they aren't as cool as my orange clothes but I think they're still pretty good. I have to say it's a major improvement, said Ayame, earning a gasp from Naruto. Don't you gasp at me. I know you like orange and I know I'm not a shinobi but I can't imagine orange is a good color for the job. Yeah, you're right about that but I only found a shop that would sell me the good stuff yesterday, explained Naruto. Well then, you'd better not let your new clothes go to waste then. I expect you to graduate with flying colors come November or I'll cut off your ramen. Permanently. Not that, anything but that, pleaded Naruto. Then I guess you'd better just make sure you graduate then, huh? With ramen on the line you can consider it done, said Naruto. You'd better hit the road, Naruto, called Tiyuchi from the back of the stand. It's 10 to 1. Thanks, Tiyuchi-san, said Naruto, quickly swallowing down the last of the broth and noodles. Naruto used his chakra sprint and chakra leap all the way back to the academy earning a level in both along the way. Naruto made it back to CL just in time for the Aruka to come in and lead everyone outside to the open training field. Now, I want 20 laps around the training field, ordered Aruka. There was a loud groan from the CL as they all began to move at a steady pace around the dirt track that had been well worn into the edge of the training field. Naruto ran as ordered not really caring, it wasn't like it would tire him out at all. It was around lap 15 that a blue window popped up. Your exercising pays off causing your VIT to go up by one. Naruto grinned as he usually did whenever something good happened to him. This meant if he kept exercising his stats would keep going up like his S defeats went up as he trained them. Nice work, everyone. Now I want 50 sit-ups and 20 push-ups each, ordered Aruka. Naruto dropped to the ground and began his sit-ups as ordered. That was one thing he did appreciate about his stamina, he never seemed to get tired. And it paid off again as on sit-up 45 another blue window popped up. You feel the burn causing your STR to go up by one. Grin, again. Naruto finished the sit-ups and FPED over to start on the push-ups. This time a blue window popped up on the 20th push-up. You feel the burn causing your STR to go up by one. Naruto looked around to see most of his CL was still doing their sit-ups with only a few on their push-ups except for the eight students Naruto identified as being higher level than the rest of the CL. Deciding he had more time, Naruto decided to do another set of sit-ups hoping to boost his STR a little more. Unfortunately after 50 he hadn't gained any more STR. So he FPED over and did the push-ups. After two push-ups the blue box reappeared. You feel the burn causing your STR to go up by one. Okay, 
he could work with this. It seemed that to get his STR to go up, he'd have to do more exercises per point. But that made him wonder if there was a cap. He'd already gained one point the previous morning from having to sprint to get to CL and he'd just gained three more points. But could he gain infinite points? Hurry and finish up your sets. It's time for your favorite exercise of all. The obstacle course, shouted Aruka, calling the attention of all the students earning another round of groans from the students. Naruto pushed through the push-ups he needed to complete his second set and popped up to his feet and got in line for the obstacle course. It really was Naruto's favorite exercise but most of the CL dreaded it, partly because it was hard and partly because if you screwed up you'd probably end up dirty. Naruto was pretty far back in the line because of his second set of push-ups so he used the time to work on leaf sticking while he waited. He drained most of his chakra working on it but didn't get a level which meant that he was getting less and less experience for his S defeats which meant it would be getting harder and harder to improve them as their levels got higher. So level capping his S defeats would be darn near impossible. Naruto, wake up, it's your turn, said Uruka, snapping his fingers in front of Naruto's face. Naruto blinked and looked up at Uruka. Huh. Oh, sorry about that. I was totally spacing. Just go, said Uruka, sighing and pointing at the obstacle course. Naruto stepped up to the line and instantly a timer appeared in his peripheral reading 0 hundred, 0 hundred. It definitely made Naruto curious but he could think about it later. Naruto started off at a sprint toward the quintuple steps, a series of steps angled 45 degrees toward a water pit, his foot barely touching each before landing on a small hill climb which ran up to a suspended log with a few grip holes. Naruto jumped onto the log gripping as hard as he could while the log glided down a rail track suddenly dropping every few feet trying to shake him loose. He then had to run across an unstable bridge with several platforms that would twist left or right if he stayed too long on any one of them. From there he had to grip a pole suspended by a series of pegs, known as a salmon ladder, and use the pole to jump up to the next peg and the next until he reached the top. At the top was a long board suspended over a water and mud pit. From the bottom of the board were several round metal bulbs just large enough to grip. Naruto grabbed the first and swung to the next grip and the next for about 20 meters until he reached another platform. He ran down a few steps to face a warped wall. A 20 meter tall wall of wood curved outward toward him. He ran as hard and as fast as he could up the wall hoping to gain purchase at the top. Once on top he sprinted 50 meters to the finish line. Naruto's timer stopped just as he crossed the finish line showing 00, 3 minutes 47 seconds and 87 milliseconds. You bend and twist your way to the finish line causing your decks to go up by one Naruto though ignored the message while he tried to reclaim his breath, his hands firmly on his knees and gasping for breath. That course ed today. The KSA was actually well known for their obstacle courses such that many Chunin still use them for training on a regular basis. They change regularly with new and different obstacles with the exception of the steps at the start and the warp wall and 50 meter sprint at the end. Finally catching his breath Naruto took a minute to review the advantages of his conditioning day. Running laps, not sprinting, but running increased VIT. Push-ups and sit-ups increased STR. And the obstacle course increased DEX. Knowing this Naruto knew he'd have to spend time here more often trying to increase his stats as much as possible. That still left him with the question of whether or not there was a limit to how many stats he could gain through physical training. Good job. Naruto, said Aruka. You came in fifth this time. Who beat me? Sasuke, Kiba, Hinata, and Tomodo, answered Aruka. A quick observe on each of them show they had higher dex stats than he did. It also showed that Kiba had gained another level and was now level 10. I guess I'll have to work harder then, huh, sensei. Keep working hard like you have this week and you'll definitely graduate this time, said Aruka, his normal kind smile adorning his face. Can I run it again? Asked Naruto. Uruka looked at the sky and then at the line. You can get back in line and you can try to squeeze one more run in but no promises. Thanks, Uruka sensei shouted Naruto, running back to the line. Naruto did manage to run the course one more time but didn't get another point of dex. After school, Naruto could once again be found at the target range switching between leaf sticking chakra reinforcement, kanai bukijutsu, and shuriken bukijutsu s defeats trying to level them as much as possible. Naruto also noticed that hitting the target no longer granted him any experience toward his level. 
Naruto continued this until his stomach grumbled that it was time for food. So he went for food then home and at home he continued to work, leaf sticking, chakra reinforcement, but this time he did sit ups and push ups during the downtime. He gained two more points of STR in the first four sets but the next five sets did nothing. He finally determined that he could only gain one bonus stat point per level. So the six points to STR was all he could get until he leveled again. This meant he could increase his BIT four more times and DEX three more times. He just needed time to work on it with all of his other S defeats to level. You have slept in your bed. HP and CP are fully stored. Naruto once again woke up excited to get to training his S defeats. Right away he drained nearly all of his CP working on, leaf sticking, before going through his morning routine. Naruto decided that he could get his BIT level capped quickly enough by running to school every morning and taking a longer route depending on how much time he had. And that's exactly what he did. Good morning, CL, greeted Uruka as he entered the CL room. So, we're back to our day one schedule so let's all try to improve. Naruto tuned him out as he began talking about various uses of Bukijutsu and the physics that can be applied. Instead he chose to once again drain his chakra to almost empty, this time on chakra reinforcement, before setting his head down on the desk and closing his eyes until it was time to go outside for practice. It didn't take long before they were outside at the practice range and much to Naruto's delight he got a quest alert immediately. Quest alert my personal best. Score 90% or better you have 5 attempts to throw 90% or better with Kanai and Shuriken. Completion award. 1000 EXP Intermediate Academy Taijutsu S Defeat Book Completion Failure. 200 EXP Naruto had to wipe the drool from the corner of his mouth at the thought of succeeding. He quickly tapped the, confirm, white button and got himself in line. Naruto's first time up he hit 93 only missing one shuriken hit. Yada. He shouted with joy. You've improved, well done. Completion awarded. 1000 EXP and, Intermediate Academy Taijutsu, S Defeat Book. Naruto was super eager to get right into the book but was interrupted by another notification. Congratulations. Your level has increased by one. Naruto grinned happily at that. Quest alert perfection is its own reward. Score 100%. You have 4 attempts to throw 100% with Kanai and Shuriken completion award. 2000 EXP completion failure. 500 EXP Naruto quickly tapped the, confirm, white button and went to the back of the line to check out his new book. You've obtained the S defeat book, Intermediate Academy Taijutsu. Would you like to learn the S defeat? Naruto impatiently tapped the, confirm, why, excited for the new S defeats. You cannot learn this S defeat. Required STR, 20. Required DEX, 20. Required, Beginner Academy Taijutsu, LV Max. Naruto previous joy just crumbled into nothingness. He needed to attain a max S defeat level. How was he supposed to attain a max S defeat level? Stats wouldn't be a problem, he'd just gotten 5 from his leveling up plus he could train 1 more STR and 4 more DEX. But to get a max S defeat level in his beginner taijutsu, he was screwed. Naruto decided to put 3 stat points into STR for now and 1 into DEX and think about what to do with the rest later. Before he knew it he was up to throw again, another 93%. In fact all four of his tries were 93%, he'd always miss with at least one which really pissed him off. The rest of the morning was boring history followed by lunch which found Naruto outside and running the obstacle course to try and gain a couple of decks while he had the time. He did actually manage to gain two points before the end of lunch. His improving his stats got him thinking. How could he go about improving his int and wis, especially his wis? It got him looking around the room and observing his CLMates again only to see that Shikamaru, which was higher than the last time he checked but hadn't gained a level which meant he did something to increase it. The question is, what did he do? Hey Shikamaru, called Naruto softly, trying not to gain the ire of Aruka sensei in the process. Shikamaru turned his head a little to look at Naruto. Yeah, how did you get so smart? What do you do? Do you study a lot or something? Jay, troublesome, complained Shikamaru. I don't really study unless I absolutely have to. I guess it's from playing so much shogi. That's a board game right? Yeah, I guess you could call it that, said Shikamaru. Why did you want to know? Think you could teach me how to play? Troublesome, whined Shikamaru again. 
I guess I can teach you after school today. Just don't do anything troublesome. Really. Thanks a lot, Shikamaru. I'll owe you big time for this, said Naruto, smiling from ear to ear. Whatever, I'm going back to sleep until it's time for taijutsu practice. Naruto couldn't wait for the day to end, hopefully learning shogi from Shikamaru would help him increase his wits. That still left him with his int problem but with his strange status buff giving him bit and int with every level he didn't really need to worry about it unless that buff suddenly vanished on him. So Naruto once again drained his chakra training his s defeats while waiting for taijutsu practice to start. Two more levels to his chakra reinforcement and it was time for taijutsu. When time for taijutsu practice came Naruto was disappointed when he didn't get a quest of any kind. He did just gain a level so maybe he exceeded the max level for the taijutsu quests. Either way Naruto was miffed. Naruto found himself standing across from one of the civilian kids named Midori Tomodo for his first match of the day. Midori Tomodo LV 6 HP, 150 150 its CP, 50 50 STR, 10 BIT, 15 DEX, 20 INT, 5 WIS, 5. Luck. To Midori Tomodo is a civilian-born academy student. While moderately s defeat in taijutsu, he is severely lacking in other aspects of the shinobi arts. So Naruto was stronger than him and just slightly less dexterous. Naruto figured based on that information it would be a fairly even fight. They bowed to each other then settled into an academy basic stance, Naruto in a defensive back stance and Tomodo in an aggressive front stance. Naruto wanted to see how Tomodo fought before trying to attack him. Hajime, called Aruka. Tomodo wasted no time in springing forward at Naruto with a flying roundhouse kick to the head. Naruto's arm swow up parrying the kick but still managing to break through the block and knocking him slightly off balance. Tomodo followed up his kick with punch to Naruto's stomach making solid contact and causing Naruto to grunt in pain at the hit. Naruto quickly counter with a stomp kick to Tomodo's shin causing the boy to drop to one knee. Seeing his opponent down, Naruto attacked with a knee strike, missing Tomodo's face but still hitting his shoulder hard enough to knock the boy out of the ring. Winner, Uzumaki Naruto, called Aruka. Naruto wanted to celebrate his first win in a while but instead bowed as was proper and stepped out of the ring. Beginner Academy Taijutsu S level has risen by one. Beginner Academy Taijutsu S level has risen by one. Naruto finally did celebrate. Yada. Not only did he win the fight against one of the better Taijutsu users he also leveled his Beginner Academy Taijutsu twice. It was a triple win if you ask Naruto's opinion. Naruto had two more fights that day, one against another civilian student named Ido Momo and another against Inazuka Kiba. He beat the civilian like a drum but lost to Kiba if just barely. Either way he gained another level in Taijutsu. CL for the day ended with the last match in which Sasuke mercilessly destroyed Tomodo. It made Naruto respect Sasuke's s defeat a little but still detest him as a person. Yo, Naruto, you ready? Asked Shikamaru. Yeah, let's go, said Naruto. He was excited to hang out with Shikamaru for a bit. Yeah, yeah, said Shikamaru, yawning lazily. Together they walked to a hilltop park a kilometer from the KSA. There were a bunch of shogi tables spread around, some of them occupied but mostly empty. Shikamaru guided him to one of the larger tables with a canopy over top of it. He sat down and pulled out a scroll and unsealed a small box containing the game pieces. He then set up the table for the game. Do you know anything about the game, Naruto? asked Shikamaru. I know nothing about it, answered Naruto honestly. Never played before and never have been shown how to play before. Troublesome, complained Shikamaru. Then he launched into a long and drawn out explanation of each piece and how each piece moves and how to promote each piece before finally explaining captured pieces. Then he showed Naruto a couple examples before finally allowing Naruto to play a game with him. You lose, said Shikamaru, it took less than 20 moves. What? Already? asked Naruto, not fully understanding. It, again, you lose, said Shikamaru, 20 minutes later. This time the game took about 30 moves. You did better but you're still learning. No kidding, said Naruto, groaning in defeat. Another game. Sure, said Shikamaru. And so another game started and about halfway through Naruto got his first pop-up message. Beginner Academy Tactics S level has risen by 1. 
You worked smarter not harder causing your wish to go up by one Naruto would have cheered if not for him trying to focus on the game. He was losing, quite badly but it was still better than the previous game. You lose, said Shikamaru, smirking a little. That's it for me today. I've got get home or my mom will nag at me. But if you want, we could play again another day. I'd like that. Cool. Make sure you buy your own pieces for next time, said Shikamaru. I know you're new to the game but it is good etiquette to provide your own pieces. Where can I buy a set? Konoha General Store should sell them, said Shikamaru, shrugging as he wasn't very sure. Naruto couldn't help cringing. Um, they don't really like me there. Troublesome, I'll pick up a cheap set for you. You can pay me back, offered Shikamaru. Thank you again, said Naruto. I really appreciate it, Shikamaru. Maybe next time you won't prank them so much, he suggested, then walked away at a lazy gait. Now, it's time for me to get to work. I need one more point of dex and str, said Naruto to himself, feeling the excitement and enthusiasm building. Meanwhile, Shikamaru's walk away from the blonde enigma was all but enthusiastic. He was glad his pseudo friend was taking an interest shogi but it was definitely unusual for the blonde prankster. Something had changed in Naruto and it seemed to be a recent change. The question was, what caused the change and how troublesome was it going to be in the future? Troublesome, he grumbled, yet again. Shikamaru's walk home was as sedate as usual. Upon entering the house he was nagged immediately by his mother, first for coming home late, then for not taking the trash out that morning before he left for school, and then to do his homework and go out and feed the deer followed by training in the family haijutsu. Two hours later, his chores were done and his homework was ready to turn in. Shikamaru found himself sitting at his family's dinner table. So why were you late coming home from academy today? Demanded Yoshino. A friend from school wanted me to teach him how to play shogi, answered Shikamaru, lazily pushing his tofu with his hashi chopsticks. What friend? Asked his father. Naruto wanted to learn. I didn't really see the problem with it, answered Shikamaru. Interesting, said Shikaku, while Yoshino just frowned. You'd better not pick up any of his bad habits, stated Yoshino strictly. Troublesome, complained Shikamaru. Chapter 4. Naruto was a bit slower to wake up the fifth morning after his gamer ability showed up. Maybe the initial excitement of it had worn off or maybe he just didn't sleep well. Whatever the case, he felt more back to normal either way. After leaving Shikamaru the previous afternoon, Naruto returned to the training field earning a point of VIT as he ran there and then gaining that last point of STR and DEX to get his stats where they needed to be to learn Intermediate Academy Taijutsu, minus the LV max he needed in Beginner Academy Taijutsu. Status, Naruto said as he yawned and stretched to wake himself up a bit more. Name, Uzumaki Naruto CL, the gamer title, Academy student plus 25% experience gained to level 10, level. LV7 affiliation, Konoha. HP, 1031 1031 CP, 1010 1010 STR, 26 DIT, 23 11.15 DEX, 2011 INT, 2011 WIS, 12 1.68 LUCK. DEF, 35 2.1 STATUS, plus 10 BIT, plus 10 INT, plus, percent experience 2. S defeat plus 100 HP and plus 100 CP per level prankster, minus 5% reputation gains, plus 5% experience to trap, S defeat, plus 5% experience to stealth, S defeat. Uzumaki Naruto is the dead last of the Konoha Academy having failed the graduation twice before while clearly not prepared to graduate. His past is shrouded in mysteries for him to uncover. Point. Oh. Ryo. 3300 all told it wasn't too bad at all. He'd made some rather impressive strides in the last week. However, Naruto already noticed that the quests had dried up at the academy. He wasn't getting experience from his taijutsu matches or target practice. The only quest he had pending at this time, Yuming it showed up again, was the Kanai and Shuriken Mastery and possibly another delivery quest next week at Higurashi Weapons. Naruto quickly found out how right he was. For the next three months his CL pattern repeated. Day 1, Shuriken and Kanai practice followed by Taijutsu practice. Day 2, Chakra lecture followed by Jutsu practice including Bunshin which Naruto couldn't do without putting some major progress into WIS, 
something he just wasn't willing to sacrifice that many stat points to achieve. Day 3, more lectures followed by conditioning, something he'd already capped until he leveled again. At least on day 3 he'd spend time playing shogi with Shikamaru, even after he'd hit his wisp bonus stat cap he kept playing because he'd started to become better friends with Shikamaru and as an added bonus it increased his beginner academy tactics s defeat. And then of course it would start all over again with day 1. At least on weekends he could focus strictly on improving his s defeat levels from the start of the day to the end of the day, minus time for meals and sleep of course. So despite the lack of leveling, he'd significantly increased the levels of his estefeats, or at least the estefeats he tried to focus on most. Chakra Reinforcement, Active, LV 18 92.74% CP, 100, using chakra to reinforce your body can now protect you from taking some damage. Additional 280 HP damage reduction when active. Reinforcement lasts until 280 damage has been inflicted on you. Leaf Sticking, Piv, Active, LV 22 EXP 16.52% CP 5 per 5 seconds, Introductory Chakra Control Exercise taught to all Academy students. This exercise improves your chakra control the more you level it up. Pivly increases with 9%. Pivly reduces excess CP lost from using too much chakra by by 8%. Beginner Academy Taijutsu, Piv, LV 9 EXP 99.97%. Taijutsu or hand-to-hand -hand combat is another essential estefeat for all shinobi to learn. The beginner level focuses on appropriate stances and basic strikes, kicks, and blocks. Pivly increases STR 5%, Pivly increases VIT 5%, Pivly increases DEX 5%, Beginner Academy Tactics, Piv, LV 7 EXP 15.72%. Team formations, ambush points, counter ambush and many other tactics. Pivly increases int 5%, Pivly increases with 5%, Kanai Bukijutsu Piv, active LV 15 EXP, 85.07% CP, 5 weapons technique specific to Kanai usage in both melee and ranged combat. Pivly increases Kanai accuracy 35%. Pivly increases Kanai parry 20% additional 15% increase in STR when active. Shuriken Bukijutsu Piv, active LV 15 EXP, 85.07% CP, 5 weapons technique specific to shuriken usage in ranged combat. Pivly increases shuriken accuracy 45% additional 15% increase in damage when active. So here he was again on day 1 of the rotation, just going through the motions, eagerly waiting to get to Kanai and shuriken practice to try to finally get a perfect score on that edcursed quest. Quest alert perfection is its own reward. Score 100% you have 5 attempts to throw 100% with Kanai and Shuriken Completion Award. 2000 EXP Completion Failure. 500 EXP Naruto growled at the quest text quickly hitting the, confirmed white button and stepping into line. Between this quest once or twice a week and his delivery quest for Higurashi weapons he was barely clearing 1500 EXP a week and an extra 500 per month for his landlord's rat problem which still left him with no idea how long it would be before he leveled again. Naruto had to shake his head to clear his mind of his current frustrations with the game that his life had become and focus on the target in front of him. Just yesterday he'd hit level 15 with both his Bukijutsu S defeat, hopefully that would be enough to hit 100% this time. Kanai went 5 for 5 then Shuriken 9 for 10. A huff and growl escaped Naruto as he went to the back of the line to wait his next attempt. The next three went much the same way except that the third attempt awarded him with some benefit. Kanai Bukijutsu S level has increased by 1. Shuriken Bukijutsu S level has increased by 1. Kanai Bukijutsu Piv, Active LV 16 EXP, 0.02% CP, 5 weapons technique specific to Kanai usage in both melee and ranged combat. Pivly increases Kanai accuracy 35%, Pivly increases Kanai parry 25%, additional 15% increase in STR when active. Shuriken Bukijutsu Piv, Active LV 16 EXP, 0.02% CP. 5 weapons technique specific to shuriken usage in ranged combat. Pivly increases shuriken accuracy 50% additional 15% increase in damage when active. Naruto prayed the whole weight back to the front of the line that this would be enough to hit the mark. Kanai went 5 for 5 again. 
the first nine shuriken hit their mark. Naruto only had the one throw left. Naruto took a deep breath in and out, stared down the target then quickly fed his wrist sending the last shuriken cutting through the air. After what felt like a lifetime there was a sharp, thunk, as the last shuriken stuck dead center of the target. Yada, shouted Naruto, jumping in a fist into the air. Finally, I've made you my now you stupid targets. Well done Naruto, said Aruka. Perfect. Completion awarded. 2000 EXP congratulations. Your level has increased by one. Yada. Naruto shouted in joy yet again. Finally, I never thought it would happen. Took freaking long enough. What took long enough? Asked Shikamaru curiously, despite knowing he probably should get involved with whatever troublesome thing Naruto had gotten into. I got a perfect score, answered Naruto, a slight nervous quaver in his voice. Fine, don't tell me. It's probably troublesome anyway, said Shikamaru. That made Naruto frown. He hadn't told anyone about his gamer ability yet, not even the old man and he was like family, not that he'd seen much of him the last few months. But Shikamaru had proven himself smart and reliable in spite of his outwardly lazy attitude. Naruto counted him among the few true friends he really had. His reputation bar even said they were closer friends than they had been when they started playing shogi together. Well, are you free after CL today? Asked Naruto. It's hard to explain so it might take a while. Shikamaru studied him briefly before finally nodding. Alright, we can go up to the academy roof to talk. Cool, said Naruto, finalizing his decision. For now, we should probably head back in before Uruka sensei's head explodes, joked Shikamaru. Naruto nodded and followed him back inside. The afternoon lecture proceeded as expected before taijutsu practice. Naruto got paired again with Tomodo first and absolutely beat the crap out of him inside of two minutes. Beginner Academy Taijutsu S level has increased by one. The message popped up as soon as Naruto excited the ring after being declared the winner. The one downside Naruto had noticed with the Beginner Academy Taijutsu S defeat was that even though it gained levels it didn't increase his PIV abilities at all. Naruto still opened the menu to see if it changed at all now that it finally hit level 10. Beginner Academy Taijutsu Piv LV Max Taijutsu or Hand to Hand Combat is another essential S defeat for all shinobi to learn. The beginner level focuses on appropriate stances and basic strikes, kicks, and blocks. Pivly increases STR 5%, Pivly increases VIT 5%, Pivly increases DEX 5%. Naruto blinked several times. He hit the level cap for that S defeat at level 10, not 100 like he'd Yumed. That meant that maybe some of his other techniques capped at a certain point too. Naruto quickly opened his inventory and took out the Intermediate Academy Taijutsu S Defeat Book. You've obtained the S Defeat Book, Intermediate Academy Taijutsu. Would you like to learn the S Defeat? Naruto pushed the Confirm White button. You've upgraded you S Defeat, Beginner Academy Taijutsu, to Intermediate Academy Taijutsu. Intermediate Academy Taijutsu PIV LV 10 EXP 0.00% Taijutsu or hand-to-hand -hand combat is another essential S defeat for all shinobi to learn. The beginner level focuses on appropriate stances and basic strikes, kicks, and blocks. The intermediate level adds a few stances, strikes, kicks, and blocks as well as a few holds to your hand-to-hand -hand combat S defeats. Pivly increases STR 7.5%, Pivly increases VIT 7.5%, Pivly increases DEX 7.5%. Naruto couldn't stop the grin from forming on his face. He finally understood the Taijutsu S defeat set. It would level to a point and then he'd have to upgrade it to the next level if he wanted to progress it any further. That would probably end up being the case with Beginner Academy Tactics S defeat as well. This also meant he'd have to find the necessary S-Defeat books or find someone willing to train him in the S-Defeat if he wanted to learn higher levels of those S-Defeats. Naruto, you're up, called Aruka, interrupting his train of thought. Naruto rushed into the ring to find himself facing off with Sasuke who was now level 13. Observe, Naruto mumbled wanting to know what he was up against. Name, Uchiha Sasuke title. Academy student plus 25% experience gained to level 10, level LV13 affiliation, Konoha HP, 400 400 CP, 490 490 STR, 23 VIT, 
40 dex, 39 int, 49 wis, 33 luck, 1 status, unawakened sharingan plus 2 dex and plus 3 int and plus 1 wis per level avenger plus 25 percent to all stats when attacking uchiha itachi firebug minus 15 percent cost to kaden jutsu plus 10 damage to kaden jutsu uchiha sasuke is the last loyal surviving member of the infamous uchiha clan well known for their dujutsu the sharingan which has allowed them to excel as shinobi in the field his past is clouded by the pain and misery of losing his family so much that vengeance is all that remains to him. Naruto couldn't help cringing. No matter how much he wanted to deny it, Sasuke was a bad shinobi in training. Observe, S level has increased by 1. Hajime, called Aruka. Naruto immediate dropped into a defensive stance and had to block a nasty series of spear hand strikes pushing him back near the edge of the ring. He couldn't help wincing at the sting in his forearms from blocking. Unfortunate he didn't have time to think about it as Sasuke moved to attack again. Roll slash Naruto mumbled, hoping it might work. Naruto immediately rolled under the next strike and slashed at Sasuke with an empty hand accomplishing nothing but avoiding the attack. Crap, whined Naruto. It was a risky move and it did manage to keep him in the ring but it did nothing to damage Sasuke even slightly. Unfortunately, it did nothing to slow Sasuke down either because the boy managed to turn around faster than Naruto could come out of his role so that when Naruto turned around he took a brutal kick to the face not only stunning him but knocking him into the air and well clear of the ring. Winner, Uchiha Sasuke. That looked like it hurt, said Shikamaru, holding out a hand to help Naruto back to his feet. Naruto had to shake his head out a couple of times to clear the fuzziness away from his vision. Yeah, it hurt. That Tem is a ing machine. Kami Ed overpowered Uchiha Bull. Yeah, he is a bit overpowered for the academy and probably should have graduated last year. Apparently the council decided to reject his application to graduate early because they didn't want a repeat of his psychopathic brother to occur, explained Shikamaru. Sasuke's brother is a psychopath. Yeah, defeated the entire clan off except for Sasuke. It really ed him up. That's why he has the Avenger status then, Naruto mumbled, not really thinking about Shikamaru being there. Avenger status? asked Shikamaru. What do you mean? It is part of what I want to tell you about later, Naruto answered, hoping Shikamaru could wait until then. Ah, that's fine, said Shikamaru, but it was clear from the look on his face he rapidly trying to work through what he'd just heard and make sense of it. Somehow Naruto knew Sasuke was an Avenger but had no idea why troublesome. Naruto finally wandered back to watch the other fights after his head felt right again. A lot of them the members of the Konoha 12 kicking the crap out of the civilians and very rarely each other. Naruto's last match was against a level 4 civilian that was easily defeated. The one cool thing is that he won by causing his opponent to tap out because of one of the new holds he learned. Best of all, it earned him a level to his Intermediate Academy Taijutsu S defeat. Once again the day finally ended but instead of going to train, Naruto went up to the academy roof to have his conversation with Shikamaru, probably his closest friend at this point. So, what changed? asked Shikamaru. Naruto frowned for a moment. So, have you ever played video games? A few times at Kiba's, never was my thing really, answered Shikamaru. It's too much effort for way too little reward. Well, I like them. In fact, Playing video games is one of the few things I can do for fun in this village. You may have noticed that I'm not well liked. Okay, what's your point? So a few months ago I woke up and my life had become a video game, answered Naruto, not really sure how Shikamaru would react. I see, said Shikamaru. I'm serious, said Naruto. Watch. Naruto opened his inventory and pulled out his old jacket from the inventory space. That looks like time-space jutsu, said Shikamaru, trying to understand what he just saw. I don't know how it works, just that it is, Naruto replied as he put the jacket back into his inventory. So what, you have levels and stats and stuff, asked Shikamaru. Exactly, said Naruto. Troublesome, Shikamaru sighed. Alright, give me details so I can understand this a bit better. So for the next hour Naruto broke down the entire game life system from leveling to his S defeats, to training to increase his stats. So for every level you gain you can increase your base stats by 1 through training. Yeah, that's why I asked you to teach me Shogi. It worked to increase my whiz stat. 
that seems a bit backward, that wis would affect your chakra control and learning while it impacts you chakra pool and jutsu strength. It doesn't make much sense to me either but those are the stupid game's rules, said Naruto, frowning. It didn't make much sense but at the same time it made some sense to him even if just a little. So what are your current stats and level compared to mine, asked Shikamaru. Observe, said Naruto, looking directly at Shikamaru. Name. Nara Shikamaru title. Academy student level. LV9 next level. 7.09%. HP, 110 110 CP, 160 160 its STR, 8 BIT, 11 DEX, 11 INT, 16 WIS, 41 LUCK, 3 STOWS, Lazy Genius plus 5 WIS per level, 1 STR, 1 BIT, minus 1 DEX, Shadow Element, able to manipulate and control shadows, minus 15% cost to cage jutsu, plus 10 control to cage jutsu, natural leader, plus 25% to experience gain to advanced tactics, s defeat. Nara Shikamaru is a member of the famed Nara clan known for their intellect and laziness. The unique ability to manipulate shadows makes them rather versatile shinobi. Shikamaru is by far the smartest Nara born in many generations and in turn is also the laziest. Naruto read off the stats for Shikamaru. Troublesome, he said pulling out a pad of paper. Read that to me again. Naruto did. Okay, now read me your stats. Name. Uzumaki Naruto CL, the gamer. Title. Academy student plus 25% experience gained to level 10, level. LV8 next level. 6.43% affiliation. Konoha HP. 1169 1169 CP. 1110 1110 STR. 26.50 BIT. 25 11.88 dex 20 11.50 int 20 11.00 wis 15 2.10 luck def 35 4.2 status plus 10 bit plus 10 int plus percent experience 2 s defeat plus 100 hp and plus 100 cp per level prankster minus 5% reputation gains plus 5% experience to trap s defeat plus 5% experience to stealth s defeat. Uzumaki Naruto is the dead last of the Konoha Academy having failed the graduation twice before while clearly not prepared to graduate. His past is shrouded in mysteries for him to uncover. Point. 5. Ryo. 9000 Naruto read off the stats noticing that he now had a next level stat which he immediately found helpful. You're really troublesome, you know that right? I've heard something along those lines, said Naruto, trying to lighten the mood a bit. So, you gained a level earlier today and can now add one more stat point to each of your stats except VIT which can gain 3 more and int which can gain 8 more, is that right? Yeah, I think so, it's hard to keep track sometimes, answered Naruto. It's a lot of you know. Yeah, I can see that. Well, I would suggest you get your wis up to 20 for now just to level the playing field. To become genin we need to be well balanced in all fields. That said you don't really need to waste any points in VIT and in so long as you have that. Status buff giving you plus 100 to you HP and CP every level. Do you know what that, could be? And how come you're not very well balanced? Probably a Kake Genkei or something similar, answered Shikamaru, a frown still marring his face. You might want to go to the library or something to read up on it. As for my stats being imbalanced, with the exception of which they are pretty close. It just means I should probably do some of the troublesome training you or to bring them up a bit. What a drag. Um, my reputation is, hated, with the library. They probably won't let me in. Why are you, hated? What did you do to them? Nothing, I've never pranked the library in my life. I don't even know where the library is. You'd be freaking amazed at just how many place and people hate me. And these are people I've never met or places I've never been to. It's completely retarded. Shikamaru groaned and sighed at the same time. You're troublesome. So very troublesome. Fine, I'll look into it for you for now at least but you're going to have to fix that reputation on your own. Supposedly I can do quests for them but I've yet to see even one. Which usually means my level isn't high enough or a special event has to occur first to unlock the quests, explained Naruto, he actually knew quite a bit about video games and their various mechanics. That makes some sense. 
I imagine most of those places give quests only as a mission which means you have to make Genin first. That, kind of makes sense, said Naruto, it wasn't something he'd previously given much thought to. Right, so for now, all you can do is grind the few quests that are available in your S defeats until they cap. At least until you become a Genin. Vacuuming I can graduate. I still can't do Bunshin and according to the S defeat book I've got to have crazy high whiz to learn it with my current CP. It's totally jacked up. Yeah, I can see where that CP is going to cause you trouble in the future. You could maybe learn a different Bunshin but I wouldn't even know where to start with something like that. Shikamaru rubbed his face with both hands as he tried to figure out the best course of action to help his friend. So now you know my secret. And even though it's, troublesome, you have to admit it is pretty cool right? Yeah, it's not bad. It would certainly make things interesting. Shikamaru smirked. So what are you going to do now? Keep training, keep doing my quests. Try to find the S defeat books for, Advanced Academy Taijutsu, Intermediate Academy Tactics, and, Advanced Academy Tactics. I hope that I can get those learned by the time graduation rolls around or I may well be totally screwed. I know I have extra copies of the tactics books at home, Shikamaru volunteered. But you're on your own for the Taijutsu. Really, that would be awesome, Shikamaru. Sure, sure, said Shikamaru, waving him off. So, do you have time to play some shogi? I wish, but I'd better get home. My mother is going to be a nag as it is. All right then, see you tomorrow, man. See you, said Shikamaru. You have slept in your bed. HP and CP are fully stored. Another three months had come and gone for Naruto. Having Shikamaru in on his, gamer life secret thing, proved to be a really boon. He even figured out what it took to raise his int stat much to his frustration, he had to pay attention in CL and study. It was not ideal but it worked in pushing him even further from learning Bunshin than he was before. Name. Uzumaki Naruto CL. The gamer title. Academy student plus 25% experience gained to level 10, level. LV8 next level. 96.82% affiliation. Konoha HP. 1201-1201 CP. 1201-1201 STR. 21, 6.58 VIT. 28 12.10. Dex. 21 11.58 int. 28 12.10 WIS. 21 3.68 luck. Def. 35 5.25 status. Plus 10 bit. Plus 10 int. Plus. Percent experience 2. S defeat plus 100 HP and plus 100 CP per level prankster minus 5% reputation gains plus 5% experience to trap S defeat plus 5% experience to stealth S defeat. Uzumaki Naruto is the dead last of the Konoha Academy having failed the graduation twice before while clearly not prepared to graduate. His past is shrouded in mysteries for him to uncover. Point. Oh. Ryo. 15,000 on a positive note he'd level capped, leaf sticking, kanai bukijutsu, shuriken bukijutsu, and moved on to, intermediate academy tactics. Leaf sticking, piv, lb max, introductory chakra control exercise taught to all academy students. This exercise improves your chakra control the more you level it up. Pivly increases with 10%. Pivly reduces excess CP lost from using too much chakra by 10%. Kanai Bukijutsu Piv, Active, LV Max CP, 5 Weapons Technique Specific to Kanai Usage in both Melee and Ranged Combat. Pivly Increases Kanai Accuracy 50%, Pivly Increases Kanai Parry 25%, Additional 20% Increase in STR when Active. Shuriken Bukijutsu Piv, Active, LV Max CP, 5 Weapons Technique Specific to Shuriken Usage in Ranged Combat. Pivly increases shuriken accuracy 50% additional 25% increase in damage when active. Intermediate Academy Tactics Piv LV13 EXP 52.82%. Team formations, ambush points, counter ambush and many other tactics. Pivly increases in 7.5% Pivly increases with 7.5% it was just enough improvement to feel like he'd really accomplished something, now if only he could freaking level again. That was by far the most annoying part of this. The good news on the level front is that today was another delivery quest day for Higurashi weapons. And if it went well then he'd be honored with the shop and that would get him 15% off everything in the shop which means it would be time to go on a spending spree. 
but best of all it should be just enough to get him to level 9. Higarashi weapons friendly 951 thousandths it was now June and the weather had turned quite wow in high no kuni and Naruto was feeling it, especially in his busted apartment his now, unfriendly, landlord still wouldn't fix for him. Landlord unfriendly 151 thousandths still, all that considered, things were looking up. He had 5 months until his graduation exam and at his current rate he should be at least level 10 and if he's really lucky, level 11. First things first, he had to get through today. Chapter 5. Good morning, CL, said Uruka, entering the room carrying a large box with him. That was something Naruto hadn't seen him with previously. Okay, so time for a little change up in our routine. To start, no more Bukijutsu lectures. If you don't get by it now you probably never will. There will only be practice and that practice will be moved to the mobile range from today to graduation. Day 2 will be switched to stealth theory and practice in place of chakra theory. And on day 3 we'll be integrating trap theory and techniques, so we'll be shortening tactics lessons. Any questions before we get started? What do you mean mobile range? Asked Sakura. We will be using the advanced target range. The targets will simulate combat and move. Sometimes targets will pop up suddenly and some targets will move on cables between trees. It is several times more difficult than the static range you've trained on for the last few years, explained Aruka. This also means you will be throwing in multiples, no longer one kanai or one shuriken at a time. This is not about accuracy anymore but using proper spread vectors and timing. Naruto found himself nodding in understanding. He also couldn't help feeling eager for what was to come. It might mean a new S defeats and new quests. All of the new Klee's might for that matter. Right, if there are no more questions let's get out there and get to it, ordered Aruka, picking up the box he'd just brought in. This is going to be epic, said Naruto cheerfully, walking next to his lazy friend and Choji. For you maybe, said Shikamaru, knowing of Naruto's gamer ability and figuring Naruto would get a S defeat of some kind for it. You're so broken, Naruto. Naruto however just grinned at the comment. You call it broken, I call it winning. Out at the range Naruto watched his CLMates take turns throwing a spread of weapons at various targets both moving and popping out from hidden locations. While doing so he was trying to figure out how to do the same. Finally Naruto's turn came up and he was handed two kanai and four shuriken. Okay, so your goal is to throw them all together at one of the target areas, explained Uruka briefly. Any suggestions on how to do that? Uruka smiled then took two kanai and four shuriken from the pile of cheap practice weapons from the large box he'd brought earlier. He then put one kanai between his pointer finger and his middle finger then a shuriken between the other fingers. He then spread his arms briefly before quickly snapping the forward and crossing them. At some point during snapping them forward he released the weapons at a moving target landing five hits and three misses. Sweet, said Naruto appreciatively. That was awesome. Naruto quickly tried to mimic Aruka's handling of the weapons before releasing them on a moving target missing with all of them. Not only did he miss but the weapons were really slow. This technique is harder than throwing one weapon at a time so it will probably take a bit to get the hang of it. Quest alert it's raining knives. Score 2 hits or more. Score 2 hits on the target using an area of effect s defeat before the end of CL. Completion award. 1000 EXP Academy Kanai 10, and Academy Shuriken 20 Completion Failure. 200 EXP Naruto wanted to jump for joy at the quest but managed to restrain himself because of the quest requirement. He didn't have any AOES defeats yet. But that most likely meant that what he was learning, or rather trying to learn was an AOES defeat. That meant he'd have to get as many chances as he could on this target range if he wanted to complete the quest. Naruto looked at the line and saw several students lazing about after just one try while some got back in line to try again so the line wasn't extremely long as when the exercise first began. Seeing that, he rushed to get back in line. New quest? Asked Shikamaru softly, stepping in line behind him. Yeah, I have to create an AOE and then score two hits or more on a target, Naruto replied just as softly. That doesn't sound too difficult. I don't know, I tried the technique Uruka sensei showed me and it didn't go so well. My weapons were slow and off target. So next level you might want to do more with dex, it improves your accuracy right? Yeah, that's a good idea, I'm really close to leveling up now too. I still say you're broken but good luck anyway. 
Thanks, Shikamaru. The line moved pretty quickly since each student got one try before being sent on their way. Naruto got back to the front of the line pretty quickly and once again tried the same more as Aruka did. The weapons flew a bit faster but were still way of target not getting a single hit. Naruto rushed to the back of the line again and waited. He was seeing some improvement and for him that was enough for now. Hey, Naruto, started Shikamaru, getting in line behind him again. Yeah, you figure something out, asked Naruto. Try putting a little chakra in your arms. I got a lot more speed from my last throw that way. Naruto nodded. Will do, thanks. Yeah well, it would be troublesome if I didn't try to help. Naruto waited once again for his turn. When he got up to the line he collected the two kanai and four shuriken. He lined up with the range waiting for a target to appear. A small pop signified a pop-up target snapping into view signaling Naruto to attack. Naruto right away drew his arms back and charged a little chakra into them then let the weapons rip. He got one solid hit while the others sailed past the target. A special S defeat has been created through a special act. I will get you even if it takes every last weapon I've got. Area of effect. Buki no Urashi, LVL. One has been created. Buki no Urashi Piv, active LV1 EXP. 0.00 CP, 50. In a storm of weapons you throw a group of weapons at the same time targeting an area of effect. Pivly increase AOE accuracy 5% throw up to 6 small weapons at once when active. Naruto was stoked at his achievement. Not only was the ability cool is but it had a bad name to it too. Better, Naruto, keep working on it, encouraged Aruka. Thanks, Aruka sensei. I'll get this in no time at all. Just you watch. Once again Naruto was quickly joined by Shikamaru. So, what was it? Buki no Arashi, I can throw 6 weapons at once but it costs 50 CP. Still, it's pretty awesome, explained Naruto, absolutely giddy at the prospect of unleashing hundreds of weapons at once, maybe thousand. Or enough to turn the sky black with metal death raining down on the enemy without mercy. Shikamaru seeing Naruto zone out into his own world poked him. Slapped him to snap him out of his daze. Sorry about that, lost in thought, explained Naruto sheepishly. Whatever, you're up, he motioned to the now empty line in front of him. Naruto rushed to the line and collected his weapons. Buki no Arashi, escaped his mouth softly as soon as the target began sliding across one of the cables. There was a quick, rat tat tat tat, as four of the weapons hit their mark. Your weapons found their mark. Completions awarded. 1000 EXP, Academy Kanai 10, and Academy Shuriken 20, Yada, cheered Naruto. Good job, Naruto, Uruka congratulated him. Congratulations. Your level has increased by one. Naruto fist pumped several times as he walked back to the end of the line. I take it you leveled? Asked Shikamaru, joining Naruto again. Yeah I did, Naruto happily informed his friend. Congrats, so how are you going to spend the points? I don't know. I was thinking I might want to save them a bit. The Advanced Academy Tactics S Defeat book you gave me requires 30 WIS. I imagine it will probably need 30 STR or DEX for the next level of Taijutsu. I guess it depends on which hits max level first and then if I have the book or not. Good plan, said Shikamaru, smirking in approval of his friend's decision. Have you had any more luck at the library with the Kakei Genkei stuff? I found a brief mention of the Uzumaki clan but nothing concrete unfortunately, answered Shikamaru. Cool. Maybe I can ask the old man about it. I haven't bugged him in a long time anyway. Have you told him about your ability yet? Not yet, I haven't had reason to tell him about it yet. I will eventually it just hasn't come up. Troublesome, blonde, grumbled Shikamaru. Yeah, 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 said Naruto waving him off. The rest of practice was pretty quiet, just grinding out the experience for the new technique for Naruto while chatting with Shikamaru and eventually Choji who decided to join them. Afternoon Taijutsu practice was fun, Naruto got to beat up on several of the civilian children, grinning the whole way through. Shikamaru got beat down first by Sasuke then by Ino before fighting one of the civilians and winning. After CL was done, Naruto made a mad dash for Higurashi weapons. He'd been saving his Ryo and it was now burning a hole in pocket just waiting to upgrade his gear. But first he needed to complete his delivery quest. 
Yo, Higurashi-san, I'm here to work, shouted Naruto excitedly as he entered. All right brat, said Hidden, setting a box on the counter. Quest alert deliver the goods, make the Higurashi weapons delivery in place of the regular delivery girl. Deliver the box to the Nara clan in 15 minutes or less. Completion award. 500 EXP 500 Ryo increase reputation with Higurashi weapons increase reputation with Nara clan completion failure. 100 EXP. 100 Ryo decrease reputation with Higurashi weapons decrease reputation with Nara clan Naruto accepted, collected the box and bolted out the door. This would be the first time he's delivered to a clan. All the past deliveries went to various government buildings, usually the Hokage Tower. Luckily, he actually knew where the Nara clan compound was thanks to his friendship with Shikamaru. This would also be the first time he'd gotten possible reputation with one of the clans. Chakra sprint, whispered Naruto, feeling the chakra charge into his legs and allowing him to run forward at an incredible pace. It took Naruto about five minutes to reach the Nara clan compound gates. Then another five arguing with the rude guards before Shikamaru finally showed up. What's up, Naruto, asked Shikamaru. I have a delivery for your family from Higurashi weapons. But the two guards are being s about it, explained Naruto. One of the guards tried to protest, now see here you little. Thanks, said Shikamaru, holding out his hands. Naruto smirked and handed him the s to sign for the package then the box. Naruto took the signed receipt from Shikamaru. Thanks, Shikamaru, you're a real lifesaver. You've completed the delivery just in time. Return to Higurashi Weapons to claim your reward. That was a close one, grumbled Naruto, closing the message window. See you in CL tomorrow, said Shikamaru, waving goodbye to his friend as he carried the box inside. See ya, returned Naruto, before turning and running back to Higurashi's. Completion awarded. 500 EXP, 500 Ryo, plus 5 to reputation with Higurashi weapons, plus 5 to reputation with Nara clan. You are now, honored, with Higurashi weapons. Good work, Naruto. You've been a real at the last few months. Tell you what, going forward you can take a 15% discount on anything I sell, offered Hidden. Thank you very much, Higurashi-san, Naruto thanked him profusely. It's definitely time for some upgrades. Higurashi grinned at the thought of a sale. So, what are you looking for? Everything, said Naruto greedily, his hands grinding together as he looked around the shop. Why don't we start with the basics and go from there? Suggested Hidden. The man shuddered momentarily clearly thinking of someone else for a moment. Let them never meet, he grumbled quietly. Okay, so I'm not leaving here today without some gloves, maybe a better jacket and pants, definitely better shoes. I wouldn't say no to some bracers or shin guards either. And how much have you got to spend this time? 13,500, that leaves me with 2,000 for expenses and stuff, said Naruto, he'd clearly been thinking about this for a while. Well all right then, said Hidden. Let's start with your jacket. Naruto followed him, oh, and I want orange. It doesn't have to be all orange like my old stuff was but I need some. I've been going through orange withdrawals, it's not cool man. Hidden chuckled. Burnt orange good enough. Ooh, yeah it is, said Naruto, his eyes instantly sparkling. Try this on, Hidden said tossing a short sleeve jacket at Naruto. Naruto scrambled to catch the jacket feeling an audible jingle of chain mesh when he caught it. Burnt orange and black light armored jacket a tough short sleeve jacket covered in thick cloth and lined with light chain mesh, this armor provides light protection from weapons. Requires LB10. Stats. Plus 2 O def, plus 7 dex, plus 7 str, plus 7 bit, your 75 75 Naruto frowned momentarily as he read the description. There was a level requirement to wear it. Still, it was only one level away from him being able to wear it and it was awesome. Yeah, thought you might like that. I ordered it a few months ago for you specifically. Thought you'd want it for when you actually become a genin. Seems I was right. Hidden laughed as Naruto hugged the jacket and rubbed his face on it. I'll definitely take it, said Naruto. Next up. Glove and bracers, said Hidden, trundling to another aisle and then motioning to a shelf. There wasn't much selection, they all seemed rather standard too. Black fingerless gloves with metal back plate tough gloves with a solid gripping surface and some protection. Requires LB9. 
Stats. Plus 7 Def. Plus 5% to parry. Dur 50-50. Gray and black forearm guard a simple guard for the forearm used for enhanced protection. Requires LV8. Stats. Plus 5 Def. Dur 40 40ths. Can you dye the gray plate the same burnt orange? Asked Naruto. Yeah, it will take me a few minutes and you have let it dry overnight before equipping it but sure. Oh, and it will cost an extra 100 Ryo. That's fine. Now for pants. Pants, set hidden, collecting the items Naruto selected. He set them on the shop counter first before showing Naruto to the pants. Try these, he offered, tossing another pair of pants at Naruto. Black light armored pants tough ankle length pants covered in thick cloth and lined with light chain mesh, this armor provides light protection from weapons. Requires LV10. Stats. Plus 2 5 def, plus 8 dex, plus 8 str, plus 8 bit, plus 5% effectiveness to stealth, dur 75 75 Naruto groaned, it was another piece with a level requirement above his own current level. But once again, Naruto would have been a fool not to take it with only one level to go until he could equip it. Last stop, shoes and shin guards. Gray and black shin guard a simple guard for the shin used for enhanced protection. Requires LV8. Stats. Plus 5 def. Dure 40 40 Black Genin Shinobi sandals made of tough cloth-like material These sandals are perfect for Genin as they do not impede flexibility or chakra but also offer additional protection. Requires LV11 stats. Plus 1 O def. Plus 5% effectiveness to stealth. Plus 1.00 to speed. Dure 50 50. Now the shoes were a tough decision. It was two whole levels away from being able to use them. That said he'd already figured he'd hit level 11 before he graduated so there was no reason not to get them other than cost and it wasn't like they were going to cost less if he bought them later. Can you dye the shin guards like the forearm protectors, but just all black for these? Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Thanks, said Naruto. So what do I owe you? 9550 Ryo, said Hidden, adding Naruto's selections to the counter. Can I get you anything else? Don't suppose you have a book on Advanced Academy Taijutsu just lying around? Hidden stared at Naruto for a second then blinked. The question had caught him off guard. I think my daughter might have one but I don't think she's ever even opened the thing. Really? Asked Naruto in surprise. Can I buy it from you? I'll have to check with my daughter first. Check back on Friday, she should be back from her mission by then. Yeah I will, thanks, Higurashi-san. Yeah, yeah, now pay me and get out of here. Naruto happily paid for his new toys before rushing home to try as much of it on as he could. Once home Naruto decided to clear out some of his excess inventory junk. When he removed his old orange jacket and pants he was immediately altered by a very foul odor. He honestly hadn't realized how much it stunk before now. He'd been better about washing his current clothes simply because he'd been exercising more which left them with an obvious odor. He even went as far as to use one of the quick laundries to clean them. But given that his old clothes were just sitting in his inventory he had no idea they were that bad off. Naruto immediately ran them to his kitchen sink, popped in the stopper, and turned on the water full blast before thrusting the offensive clothing under the tap burying the odor immediately. Naruto then reached up into his cabinet above the sink and added some detergent. He then walked back to his room to get the rest of his laundry and the washboard he hadn't used in a while. Naruto added his other clothes to the sink and turned off the tap. Then he placed the washboard in and started the process of plunging and scrubbing his clothes to get them cleaned up and not so stinky. A special S defeat has been created through a special act. Plunge and scrub, plunge and scrub, life S defeat, laundry, LVL, one has been created. You've got to be in kidding me. Naruto questioned aloud, seeing the message. Laundry, active, LV1 EXP 0.00% CP5, life happens and sometime it necessary to get a little clean. Plunge and scrub to keep those clothes tidy. Additional 10% doer restored when active. Overuse will reduce doer 10%. Okay, not kidding, said Naruto in surprise. Every time I think I've finally got this figured out something new pops up just to with me. I swear. And I'm still talking to myself out loud. Why am I still talking to myself? I'm going to shut up now and get back to my laundry. Naruto did indeed shut up and got to work on his laundry. 
after which he carried it all up to the roof and hung it on the clotheslines available to the residents. With that said he sat down to wait on his clothes to dry. If he left them there they'd end up getting tossed off the side of the roof and he'd probably never get them back. So Naruto sat back and started draining his chakra with chakra reinforcement. It was about the only thing he could train at the moment with his limited number of estafetes. He would love to work on some of his combat estafetes but he had no doubt he'd get in trouble for the noise he made or for the potential damage to the build he might cause. That did give him another idea though. He could let his chakra recharge, while his clothes dried but he could also be more productive with his time and work on stealth. Simply moving around the rickety rooftop without making any noise had to be worthy of some stealth experience. It would probably be handy for the change in upcoming lessons. So that was exactly what Naruto did. He just walked from one end of the roof to the other trying not to make any noise. And it did work to his benefit. Stealth, PIV, LB5 EXP, 14.97%. Stealth is an essential estafete to any shinobi. It is used to sneak and hide in equal parts so as not to be caught by friend or foe. Pivly increases stealth infiltration 15%, Pivly increases stealth avoidance 15%, Pivly increases stealth concealment 15%, Chakra reinforcement active LB26 56.25% CP, 100, using chakra to reinforce your body can now protect you from taking some damage. Additional 360 HP damage reduction when active. Reinforcement lasts until 360 damage has been inflicted on you. You have slept in your bed. HP and CP are fully stored. Friday had come at last. It was nice that the last four days worked to his advantage. He'd progressed quite a bit in his estafetes and even gained some experience from the trap quest, stealth quest, and the AOE quest came back this time asking for double the number of hits which Naruto pulled off. The question now was whether it was a daily quest or if it would eventually stop appearing. Same for the stealth and trap quests. Other than that he earned his one additional stat point for STR, BIT, DEX, INT, and was by just going to CL. Much to Naruto's ire, Shikamaru gained another level without really even trying, the lucky bum. Name. Nara Shikamaru title. Academy student level. LB10 next level. 15.06% HP. 120 120th CP. 170 170th. STR. 10 BIT, 12 DEX, 11 INT, 17 WIS, 46 LUCK, 3 STATUS, LAZY GENIUS PLUS 5 WIS PER LEVEL, 1 STR, 1 BIT, minus 1 DEX, SHADOW ELEMENT, ABLE TO MANIPULATE AND CONTROL SHADOWS, minus 15% COST TO CAGE JUTSU, plus 1 O CONTROL TO CAGE JUTSU, NATURAL LEADER, plus 25% TO EXPERIENCE GAIN TO, ADVANCED TACTICS, S DEFEAT. Nara Shikamaru is a member of the famed Nara clan known for their intellect and laziness. The unique ability to manipulate shadows makes them rather versatile shinobi. Shikamaru is by far the smartest Nara born in many generations and in turn is also the laziest. Shikamaru couldn't help laughing when Naruto told him. What the did you do last night anyway? Asked Naruto. Fed the deer, he answered. It was troublesome. Naruto almost growled after hearing that but he restrained himself. Getting into a fight with Shikamaru now would be asking for detention, something he was going to avoid at all costs. I said it was troublesome, said Shikamaru, frowning a bit. Why? What happened? Freaking wolf got into the preserve. Had to hunt it down and defeat it. Again, it was troublesome. Really? Asked Naruto. That's actually kind of cool, it would also explain how you went from about 15% of level to 15% of level 10. I kind of hate you for that. Next time I'll call you to help, said Shikamaru sarcastically. Really? Asked Naruto. Thanks Shikamaru, that'd be great. Troublesome, groaned Shikamaru. Clearly Naruto missed or ignored the sarcasm. Anyway, I'm going to Higurashi's after CL, you can come with if you want to check it out, offered Naruto. Yeah, I have a little time. You mind if Choji comes with us? I haven't been hanging out with him much lately. The more the merrier, said Naruto happily. He was always happy to have more people around, it made feel more accepted. It would be fate then that Naruto got paired against Choji for his last taijutsu match of the day. Name. Akamichi Choji title. Academy student level. LB10 next level. 89.76% HP. 
870 cp. 100 100 str. 23 vit. 37 dex. 7 int. 10 wis. 10 lock. 4 status. Big bone plus 50 HP and plus 2 str per level. Minus 2 dex connoisseur plus 15% effectiveness of cooking s defeat. Plus 25% experience gained to cooking s defeat. Faithful friend plus 10% to all stats when in team with. Exalted. Friend. Akamichi Choji is a member of the famed Akamichi clan known for their large frames and larger appetites. Capable of the unique body manipulation jutsu that makes them very powerful shinobi. Choji is a very kind young man but has a short fuse in the event a certain three-letter word is used around him. Naruto smiled happily at the young man. This was a fight Naruto could win just based on the stats. But then again, Naruto didn't know what S defeats Choji brought to the table. Hopefully, given this was just a taijutsu spar so he wouldn't have to worry too much about it. Hajime, called Aruka, starting the match and then quickly exiting the ring. Naruto found himself suddenly ducking as a fist bigger than his head swow through the space it previously occupied. Holy, Choji, what the was that? You like it? He asked, grinning proudly. My dad taught me a few weeks ago. This is the first time I'm trying it in a real fight. Oh, gee, that's nice, grumbled Naruto. A moment later, he was once again ducking a giant fist and then a second. Choji had really surprised Naruto and put him completely on the defensive. It was pure luck that Naruto outlasted his technique. Akamichi Choji HP, 870 870th CP, 7 100ths As soon as Naruto saw his CP hit zero he charged in and started attacking vigorously, punching him in the kidney, kicking the back of his knee, then punching him in the side of the head putting him down for the count with a ko. Winner, Uzumaki Naruto, said Uruka, calling an end to the match. He then bent down and waved some smelling salts under Choji's nose rousing him right away. Naruto walked forward offering him a hand up. Great fight, Choji. You too, I guess I used my technique too long. It happens, said Naruto, pulling Choji to his feet with all the strength he could muster. Still, that was fun. We should spar again sometime. I'd like that, said Choji. Maybe, you, Shika and I can all hang out together sometime. Yeah, Shikamaru and I were going to the weapons shop after CL, you're welcome to come. We were planning to invite you anyway. Yeah, that sounds good. Surplus Arms usually has good deals, said Choji. We're going to Higurashi's actually. Choji whistled in appreciation. You like the high-end goods, huh? Are they high-end? As weapons and shinobi armor goes, yeah. And they are pretty pricey which means not everyone can afford to shop there, explained Choji. Well, unfortunately, they are one of the few shops that will actually sell to me. It's kind of a pain in the honestly. Then maybe you shouldn't have pranked them, added Shikamaru, joining the group in the conversation. I couldn't have possibly pranked all of them. I'm telling you, there's a conspiracy, yelled Naruto. Since when do you know words like, conspiracy, asked Shikamaru, smirking slightly at seeing Naruto's face. The last few fights winded down with the group chatting. Finally CL ended and the small troop made their way to Higurashi's weapons to do a little shopping. Yo, Higurashi-san, I'm here as promised, shouted Naruto, walking happily into the shop. Yeah, yeah, just a minute. I'll go get Tenten, said Hidden, waving Naruto off. What's that about? asked Choji. Apparently his daughter has a copy of Academy Advanced Taijutsu. I'm going to see if I can buy it off of her, explained Naruto. Ah, I see, said Choji. Anyway, look around, they've got some great stuff here. Thanks, I like our stuff too, said a new voice. Walking out from behind the counter was a kunoichi, maybe a year older than them. She wore a flowery pink sleeveless shirt, red pants and her hair was held up in two round buns. So, which one of you wants to buy my book? That would be me, said Naruto, stepping up to meet her. I'm Uzumaki Naruto. Nice to meet you. Higurashi Tenten, back at ya. So, about that book. Yeah, I could sell it to you but you got to do something for me first. I want to fight you. Just a spar, but I have to know if you're worthy of it. Quest alert fight me, survive a spar with Tenten Tenten has challenged you to a spar. You must last for 2 minutes against her without being defeated or knocked out. Completion award, 
2000 EXP Advanced Academy Taijutsu S Defeat Book. 50% off coupon for any one item at Higurashi Weapons Increase Reputation with Higurashi Tenton Completion Failure. 200 EXP Decrease Reputation with Higurashi Tenton Naruto Tap the, confirmed why. Sure, happy to, said Naruto. And he was happy too. Any chance for more experience was a big win in his book. So where do we do this? Meet me tomorrow morning at training field 4, my sensei will referee the match. And your friends can come watch too. I promise I won't beat you too badly. I'll be there, said Naruto excitedly. This was going to be epic. Higurashi Tenten LV18 Vacuuming He Survived. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like for more what ifs and support the author. See you guys in the next video.